Hey, what's up? I'm streaming today and I'm not streaming tomorrow, okay? I'm just letting you know now. I got stuff I gotta do tomorrow. So, enjoy it while you can. Cause tomorrow, I'm out of here. Forever. Got stuff I gotta do. I knew it. He hates video games. That's all I have to say to that. I just, I've had enough of them. Probably not gonna be a super long stream tomorrow either. Well, today. Is tomorrow Godforged? Yes. Everyone knows my Sunday session of D&D &D is running on Wednesday this week, and that's why I won't be streaming. There's been like this small subset of people that have lately just believed that if I'm not streaming for some reason on any day, it must be because I Godforged, not, not goblins, nothing else, just Godforged must be happening that day. Like if I even say like, I might not be streaming too, like today, people are like, because of D&D, &D, right? Because of Godforged? I can just take a day off. I can, there can be a reason I just don't stream that day. It's not that bad. Can you? Yeah, I can. And I'll show you tomorrow when I don't stream. You know, you, you can all come in and watch the chat and then D colon when the fucking clock passes the start time and nothing happens. As I, as I immediately prove that I can take days off and have regularly taken them off. I'm getting an update for Adobe Creative Cloud, so I'm gonna have to stop the stream. <laughs> Adobe will not take no for an answer. I don't even have, the craziest part is, I uninstalled Creative Cloud on this computer. This one doesn't need Adobe on it. I don't even have it. It's telling me to update Adobe because it's trying to sneak its way back onto the PC. Install the update. Install the update. It's almost as obnoxious as Skype. At least Adobe, to my knowledge, doesn't leak my fucking name on the, like, update notification. Dude! Full name here! You got an update, bro! Just try to keep your full name in there to keep it relatable. So you know I'm talking to you! Oh yeah, this is a normal fishing game today. With no catch. There's no, there's the only mystery underneath Lake Ophelia is how much goddamn fish is down there. How many dang fish are down there? What the heck? Sailwind stream to when? Tomorrow. I love questions like that. It'll be tomorrow. Head on over to the stream tomorrow. On at exactly 4 p.m. And I'll be streaming Sailwind again. You better be there. Cancel your plans. Cancel whatever it is you were going to do, cancel them so that you're at my stream tomorrow at 4 p.m. So you can catch the big show. <laughs> Call your boss. Tell him you quit. <laughs> Tell him you quit. Tell him you don't need to get a job anymore. You're watching Tomatoes' second Sailwind stream. 
Send a CC email to everyone you know about the Sailwind sequel happening tomorrow at 4 p.m. for sure. It's really happening. Ignore whatever the title says that day. Can I link your Instagram to my boss too? Sure, do whatever you want. You send him everything. Send send him everything, and then tell him all to be there at the Sailwind stream. I'm sure they'll love it. They'll love that. They'll love that. Come on. I asked for the day off and he told me he closed the shop to also watch you. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking slice anyone's tires that you see. <laughs> Stop them from leaving their houses. Barricade them in so they have no choice but to enjoy the Sailwind stream. The second part of the Sailwind stream. Because it's happening tomorrow at 4 p.m. If anyone tries to leave, chase them like a psycho. Chase them like a maniac down the street, screaming. They're, miss they're gonna miss the big show on f Wednesday at 4 p.m. Regardless of what the title says or what I say at any point later, it's happening. I'll definitely be there playing Sailwind again. I'm starting to think this is a bit. It's not. I really will be streaming Sailwind tomorrow at 4 p.m. and not taking the day off. I said I was going to take just about 30 seconds before starting this whole... this whole sequence. Why does my PC default open this web page on boot now? What have you done, Tomato? Sounds like your PC has taste. Hell yeah. Anyone makes any jokes about me, what I just said about having good taste if you watch my stream, ban them. And that includes the mods, ban yourselves. Take your moderation badge away. You haven't earned it if you make that joke. Sure do like my streamers jokes. Yeah, well what can I say? So it'll be another ten hours of sea shanty too. That's what I can say. It's a ten hour mix. Just keeps going and going. I have it right click to loop. At some point consciously when I landed on the ten hour version of Sea Shanty. I also right clicked on it and told it to loop as if there there was a some fucking being in the back of my head said I might break 10 hours and still want to listen to a little bit more after so let's make sure we get this thing going again. Imagine someone actually listening to this for 10 hours, Jesus fuck. I assume anything that's 24 hour mix is for animals uh, to have white noise in the background. And I can't think of anything more cursed than trying to doom your cat to Sea Shanty 2 for 24 hours. Like just like playing quietly in the background of your house. I fall asleep to tomato all the time. That's not relevant to this, and what the hell? Actually, technically that's a viewership addition to me, so you can keep it up. You can keep it up, actually. You can, you can keep it going. 
See, someone that's sleeping is less picky. <laughs> when you're awake and talking, you got all these, like, problems and requests. You never shut the fuck up. But when you're sleeping, you're quiet. <laughs> you just watch and observe, and no one can prove you're unconscious. It's perfect. You can't whine about how this stream is trash or anything like that. Just have to fucking watch. Any resident sleepers? I'd like to see them try. Also, for some reason, my notification page is broken today. Uh, I'm not getting anything on the feed. So, uh... Guess I'm using Twitch's built-in... <laughs> Built-in notification system. Yeah. Hell yeah, let's... I'll do that. I'll use Twitch's system to read the notifications. I don't use donations, so I can't miss any. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. It's not Streamlabs. I haven't used Streamlabs since before the Streamlabs problem happened. See, I'm a sort of a... I'm, I'm sort of a trendsetter. You can say that everyone quit Streamlabs because of all the horrible things Streamlabs pulled, but, but, I know for a fact that it's actually because everyone, all the streamers heard that Tomato Gaming, uh, trendsetting streamers stopped using Streamlabs. And they were all probably just like, oh fuck, it's over. I better get over there, I better get to where Tomato is. I'm the <laughs> tomato, the influencer's influencer gaming. Dude, I'm kind of an influencer, dude. Fuck yeah. My top 500 streamer, a trendsetter. Can you cut a couple hundreds off of that? Jackass, <laughs> you're gonna say it, say it right. Yeah. Until evidence comes out that proves otherwise. That's top 300 to you. <laughs> Apparently, though I can't prove this either, someone told me that I'm also like the, uh, to hang on. Let me see if I got this right. Cause it, I thought it was fucking funny. Apparently I'm also uh, statistically, and I can't prove this uh, at all. There's no, there's no proof for this. I am the, I'm the 52nd most watched English variety streamer. As in, one that doesn't react to videos all day. So that's pretty cool, as well. That's a great overly narrow... <laughs> Shut up! Dude, look, <laughs> fifty first loser. <laughs> yeah, it's a t it's out of fifty two people, asshole. <laughs> no one does react. No one does variety anymore. It's hard. No one does variety. It's difficult. There's not enough games. Everyone's making. Everyone just like fucking watches. Dude, I heard. I saw like. I didn't know. I don't know if something like caused it, like the outrage. I I was on like. Oh oh, my notifications are working now. Uh, Vitamin K, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. I saw outrage on uh on the on the social medias, and people were complaining about like apparently React streamers are now watching just full movies, like like. I'm not talking like movies from like the 50s. I'm talking like full movies from the nowadays. It... Are they sure about that one? <laughs> Cause we're only just barely scraping by with the current music situation. And I'm not sure how much more bullshit Bezos wants to know is happening from his crap before he's just like, and I'm gunning it down. I'm gonna shut it. I'm gonna take it away from them. They, they've had enough fun. I'm taking Twitch away. 
The only thing as scary as the music industry is the movie industry. <laughs> I'm not sure why someone would want to uh, invoke the twin demons uh, to kill us all. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just really not sure why they would do that. But the thing is, I rest easy knowing I don't land on either of the two problems there. Meaning when the great ma like the reckoning comes, the massacre happens, I will go from number 274 to number five. And that'll be epic. I'm fighting my time for the great culling. It's happening soon. Look, in all honesty, people can do whatever they want, but if they ruin the site for everyone because they get caught, I hope they get bullied. I hope, they, I hope they're never allowed to live it down. If like Disney's like, we're freaking pissed at all of you because of this guy. And they all just point at one guy who like fucking fell asleep watching the entire Marvel franchise in like one go or whatever. Then I, then I would be like, okay, <laughs> this guy, this guy, I'm going to pick on this guy. Here I go. I'm bullying again. Tomato actual bully. Look, dude, I'm a selective bully. I bully people that full on deserve it. And that, for the most part, can immediately slap back instantly. Like when I bullied Sam for his, uh, sad, sad messages. He messaged me back on Discord afterwards. And he literally echoed exactly what I said to him. Well, what I said about him. Which is, we both know your words, just empower me. And I said, I know. I've made you stronger. <laughs> I know. I checked in on Sam before stream, it went 02. Yikes, 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 dude, yikes. Why play games that hurt you? When you, when, when we are so mortal. Dude, there is one thing I'll be able to do on my deathbed, and it's remember all the times I didn't play League, and I'll have a I'll have a big smile on my face. Because the pain makes me feel at least something. Have you thought about finding things instead that make you happy? And maybe that might make you feel something as well? Like, I don't know, go play like, uh, go play like a happy game, like a good game for once. Like, um, I don't know. There's ones out there. Some good stuff out there on the horizon. Go play like, <laughs> go play like Kirby. No, Kirby sucks. I think that game sucks. Uh, go play, like, fucking, like, My Summer Car. Everyone likes that. If you don't like that, I think you're weird. Uh, go play... No, Monster Rancher 2 is fucked up. Never play that game again. After what they did to Cumball. Nope. Nope. Won't do it. It won't do it. He's right. Kirby does technically suck. And he also is a bad video game franchise. Made by devs that have no idea how to... How to, um, make it work. And be actually challenging. Characters... Game sucks. All of them suck. So wrong. No. Eh, I'm kind of right. Kind of right. The only interesting Kirby games that were anywhere near unique or fun was Kirby Air Ride. 
mean, that's pretty much it, actually, when I think about it more carefully. <laughs> Dude, I would slam like a hundred hours of Kirby Air Ride any day of the goddamn week. I'd play, I'd drive around that city for fucking hours just to get my like shit kicked by goddamn King DDD 18,000 times while not learning a single thing about fighting that boss. I would do it a thousand billion trillion times before I got bored of that game. Just fucking city trial 100% and then destroy me. Robin doesn't even get the funny supercar pieces, SMH. Mm. Probably not. Probably not. I kind of drove around in the ice cream car. The ice cream cart. <laughs> yeah, I, I drive around in the big box. That was my Kirby Air Ride. The one that was not air ride it was more of a ground ride like a really slow ground ride it was a big box it was just kirby ride <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah i like the moped I like the, uh, I like the spooky, um, like the, the spooky, like, phantom one that, like, you'd fly it up in the air for a second and get, like, super fast. I don't remember the name of it, but it was all, like, it was, like, edgy. It was, like, the edgy option. That one was fun. But even then, when you really think about it, one good gameplay mechanic, like, gameplay loop in the game, I haven't ever played Kirby Air Ride's actual racing game. Uh, which is probably not what the devs were hoping like i i yeah you could race in that game there was a racing thing and i think that makes kirby air ride a bad game despite having a good game in it because i think kirby air ride is the racing part but if the if nintendo came out and said kirby city trial and that's it in parentheses for f like three dollars i'd be like <laughs> and then i'd just buy that i don't need the air ride part i don't give a fuck about the race Well, 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 if it isn't tomato blinks once a day gaming, I definitely blink a lot, dude. I don't know how to tell you this, but my eyes are always dry. That's just a lie. Prove it. No. I, here's the other thing about like yelling prove it is that like you have to hope that you have like that I care about how much you respect me. And I don't because your respect is nothing to me. It's worth less than dirt. It's worth less. It's worth less than the dirt that I walk over every day when I walk outside. You're you're, you're like below the worms. So like I don't care if you think I only blink once a day. You know. So why would I prove it? You do, you go outside. I do go outside. I'm not afraid of the frog anymore. That frog can't scare me. He's probably dead. All I must fear is his spawn. That will arise come spring. Scared of tadpoles. Tadpoles are gross and weird. All right. Big sperm looking thing starts growing legs and arms and then becomes a frog. Upscaled sperm. With legs and arms? Weird. <laughs> it's a weird frog. That's not how it works. Why are you so weird? Yeah, that literally us. Not really. <laughs> no, you, uh... See, chat, you... We are not... <laughs> That's not how it works. 
<laughs> that's not really us. <laughs> that's not. I I feel like I. I'm not. Even, I don't want to dig any deeper into that. That's like that's like P is stored in the balls level of like I'm I'm stupid. That's like the same that's like the same adjacent kind of knowledge. <laughs> it's <laughs> but it is. Stop you making Poro sad. <laughs> but P is stored in the balls. Yeah, I mean, this, the four hundredth time someone said it, it definitely, ne it really, really sinks in. You might be right. I miss EDF so much. When's six coming out, dude? I still need to. I need to play more of five with uh, the gang I was carrying them through. Not <laughs> carrying, playing with. I was playing with some new people that wanted to get through it, and I just got distracted by life before I could beat it. But I, I am a, I am an, I am very informed EDF player. Tomato carries everyone he plays with. That's not true. Anytime I play a game with Shane, he carries me. All right. Shane's the best gamer I know. It's not even funny. You think Wing Diver sucks, so not really. Fred, you are a sad, pathetic, delusional fuck, aren't you? Let me be clear, Wing Diver sucks in comparison to the Fencer, which is what makes everything else in EDF 5 suck. It's not that the class itself actually sucks, it's that all of them suck in comparison to a Fencer using the movement exploit, which is far too easy to use, which therefore lowers the, like, the actual power of everything else by immediately how much better the Fencer is. Okay? Wing Diver can do things. Fencer already did it before the Wing Diver could even fucking comprehend what happened. Fencer's fuck. Everyone else just kind of like fucking scampers around, confused as to what's happening in front of them while the Wing Diver's in the fight, tanking every hit and breaking most of the enemies in half with a single swing. Okay? I sincerely hope Fencer is weaker in the next game because I don't want everyone to be consciously aware at the end of the game how much stronger I am than them without it being any of their fault. There's a certain point in that game where it's not even a skill issue. It is a you didn't play Fencer issue. When you get to like the extra hard DLCs and people can't escape the super bugs and the fencer simply can. Or they could make everyone as strong as a fencer, true. But historically, whenever a fencer is in an EDF game, they are made to be the strongest for some reason, even in ones that aren't made by the main devs of EDF. I mean, fucking hell, look at what they did to fencer and Iron Rain. They quite genuinely made them even more broken than the other versions. That Iron Rain Fencer was the most broken one. EDF Fencer sucks. EDF 4 Fencer sucks without Javelin Dash. Yeah, but that's the thing. You can add that to almost everything. Every Fencer is made or destroyed as a result of their movement uh, exploit. But the second you add that movement exploit, you have a tank that can move faster than the fastest class in the game, which therefore makes it broken in the strongest class in the game. Okay, like th this is what I'm talking about. Like you take that and put that, you find an, a way to make the fencer fast in any game and suddenly it goes from being weak or average to being, what the fuck? How do you even like keep up with this thing? And until they figure out how to stop that, which they never will, because the devs love Fencer. 
The devs love Fencer. Everyone loves Fencer. I've never met anyone who doesn't like Fencer. I've never met anyone that doesn't immediately start maining Fencer after they play Fencer. The only people who don't play Fencer are the people that uh, are trying to be like contrarian, which is sad. I don't know how to help you because you're hurting yourself for no reason. Or you really like big robots and you want to be an air raider. Ranger for life, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything mean to you because I feel bad for you. And you're so you're so you're so far gone. There's no point trying. Go on out there. Go ahead and hold down the sprint button and go pick up some boxes, son. All right? Go pick up some boxes for the team. Go on. Oh wait, by the time you got to that box packet in front of you, the big pile of them, the, the fencer dashed over you and grabbed them all. Better turn around and grab some behind you instead. Better, better spin on around and grab another, go start going towards another packet. <laughs> Rain, oh, Ranger is the kids table of classes. Yikes! True, but yikes! It's absolutely true. It's the kids' table. Who else sits at the kids' table? Another three rangers. Is who sits at the kids' table. It's a full party of rangers. Someone had to say it. I know. <laughs> I know. I respect them. They did good out there. Ranger is red shirt. Play with Ranger to play on babysit mode. It's, dude, all I wish is that I, when I was playing EDF with Manda and Gmart, I took the time to record Gmart switching from Fencer to Ranger while saying, and I quote, you guys need my damage. You can't win this level without me. I'm going to play Ranger to prove it. And we beat the level without him playing Fencer. And he died about two seconds in as Ranger to a stray bullet. And no one rezzed him. And he just sat there in complete fucking silence as we beat the level handily without him. It was like the most cursed thing I think that's ever happened to the poor guy. And I've never talked about it, but it was so fucking funny. <laughs> There's no evidence of it, so he could very easily... It, it may never have happened. Maybe it was all in our heads, but I, I vaguely remember the, the event. What is under the lake? A big, uh, big frog. Isn't that fun? Big frog. Big frog, but it's got human hands. Which, I mean, frogs are already kind of freaky like that, aren't they? Frogs already kind of have, like, gross human-esque 
They got like thumbs. They're like sort of already kind of there. Which is why I think I don't trust them. You know what I mean? They, they look just like humans. If you like squint in your eyes, it's hard to tell the difference between the frog and the human. You know? Trust no animal that can hold a knife. Well, I'd have to give them a small knife, wouldn't I? I'd have to, I'd have to personally hunch down towards the frog and be like, here's your custom knife I made, frog. I'd have to give them a special one. They couldn't carry a normal one. They're not, they don't got enough muscle. A crab can. I've seen a crab carry a knife. And that's fucked up. But like a frog, I don't think so. The background image is giving me Big the Cat vibes. Look, this game might have some horror elements. I refuse to admit it. However, uh, I can tell you it can't be as scary as Big the Cat sequences in Sonic Adventure. It can't be. It can't hurt us anymore. It's over. It's gone. It's done with. We'll never have to worry about Froggy and Big the Cat ever they're gone. Like, people always say they really like Sonic Adventure, and I do too, to an extent. It was a fun game. But they really only like the first, like, half of Sonic... Like, the first, like, third of Sonic Adventure. And then there's a lot of garbage. Then there's a lot of garbage you gotta get through after that. You really gotta wade through a lot of trash. And then, like, just as you're about to give it up, at the last second, Chow Garden. And you're like, Ugh. no way! And then you play that for fucking 18 hours straight. Someone said uh, something real cursed in the chat. They said, the fishing was fun. All that running about was boring. <sighs> Got chills. I don't like Sonic. He moves too fast. My eyes can't keep up. I mean, with the new open world Sonic game that was announced, there will be fishing. Yeah, but I will continue to not play them because I keep seeing every single time they make a new Sonic game and announce it, they also, for some reason, confirm every time that the same guy that's uh, directed all of the shitty ones is also directing this one because for some reason, I think he's like got some, I think he's like blackmailing the Sega like owners. Cause this same mis like the same guy who doesn't know how to make good Sonic games keeps directing all the Sonic games. And I look it up and I'm like, wow, they're making an open world Sonic game? Who's uh, directing it? Because at this point, if I see the same guy's face again, I will know that it's garbage a year ahead of time. And then it's the same guy again. I'm like, ah, yes. Well, I can ignore this one too. The last good modern 3D Sonic game that came out was Sonic Generations. <laughs> I don't count Sonic colors. It was Sonic Generations. I said 3D, listen, chat. Oh my God, you need to listen to the words I say if you're going to participate in the chat. You need to listen. Sonic 2006 was ahead of its time. I never played it. I don't think I want to. I played Sonic Heroes. I liked that one. I didn't think it was horrible. I remember playing it when I was younger. That one was okay. T 
Tomato Mario Party stream. I don't have fun playing garbage anymore, chat. I gotta be honest about something. <laughs> like, I, I know that I, when I was a young, spry YouTuber, a tuber, if you will, I would spend a lot of time playing trash and making it look fun. It took a long time for me to realize how much of my life was uh, I was I was squandering, uh, like just throwing it all away, playing a shitty game for hours and weeks to make a video. I don't play trash anymore. Mario Party's trash. <laughs> Mario Party is bad. It's not very good. I could have fun playing any game with friends. Like, I don't, it doesn't need to be Mario Party for me to play a game with friends. If I wanted to play a fucking, like, miserable experience with friends, I'd just play Cookie and Cream made by FromSoft again. That's miserable enough. I don't need, I don't need that. Is that why you don't go on Little Big Planet anymore? Look, I'll be honest about another thing. While I played a lot of Little Big Planet to make that video, I didn't enjoy playing Little Big Planet for one fucking second that entire time at all. I enjoyed seeing what people made, but Little Big Planet as a video game is boring as sin. Okay. It, it walked so that dreams could fly and then get shot down by Sony themselves the second they left the ground. Who's holding the gun? Oh my God, it's PS5. And then just immediately stomped on when it landed it back on the ground after flying for about 30 seconds. That's what happened with, with Media Molecule, okay? Little Big Planet was a test. Then they made Dreams and Dreams had huge potential. <laughs> Until they port it to PS5, I don't think Dreams can ever actually be what they made it look like it would be because there's too much, like, segmenting of the content because there's not enough, like, power behind a PS4 to actually do it right. They it, Dreams was genuinely dead on arrival to me because it came out way too close. Because it, it relies on players making things. And the second that people start getting onto it, Sony was like, hey, everyone, look at this! Look at this thing! And then they just pointed at that. It's sad because I think Dreams is awesome. What's a PS5? I know a lot of you haven't seen one. A matter of fact, mine's behind a divider, so I don't know if someone's broken into my house and stolen it. So I'm not about to say I have one anymore because I haven't visibly confirmed I own it in about two months because there's nothing to do on it. So uh, God knows what's behind that thing. It might be a PS5 or it might be a brick that looks like a PS5 because <laughs> someone broke into my house weeks ago and stole it. It's Schrodinger's PS5. I think Dreams had potential, but it seemed to mostly be 10-year-olds making memes. Look, chat, here's the thing. With the amount of tools that Dreams, and this is genuinely how I view it, with the amount of tools that Dreams gives you to make something, and then on top of it, the amount of complexity of those tools, at a certain point, any adult that's making something on Dreams could realistically just say, why don't I just get development, like, tools? and like just make a fucking game. Wait, what am I doing? And then they just go make an indie game. Like, <laughs> that's another thing with dreams is at a certain thing, why don't you just make a game? Like the tools, the tools are like, there's so much complexity uh, in dreams that at a certain point you have to say to yourself, why don't I just download a, like the dev kit for like a real, like, thing, and, like, make a game. You know? 
That's not a, like me picking on dreams. It's like the logical conclusion that an adult that would put a lot of time into making something would say to me. Like for kids, different story. For a fully grown adult, I, at a certain point of investment, I would say, I can't monetize this. If I'm putting a ridiculous amount of time into something, at a certain point, I might as well make something that I could possibly get a return on. Maybe. Or at least like, you know, have full agency over instead of like these tools. Makes sense to me. It's like Roblox, except without all the shady behavior. Yeah, but like, here's the thing, Roblox, to my knowledge, people that make Roblox stuff can actually make pretty decent money. Shady behavior or no. So still better than dreams in that regard. Look, as far as I'm concerned, people should, you know, have the opportunity to make money for the thing that they're putting a lot of time into, you know? exploiting children yeah but when is that yeah but when is that the newest thing roblox has done i'm pretty sure that's everywhere you can find that on twitch you can find that on any gambling thing you can find that anywhere on the internet at a certain point it falls on the fucking i don't know parents to stop their child from doing stupid shit i don't know the whole detail with roblox but i'm pretty sure most of the internet is about exploiting children for their money i'm pretty sure that's the entirety of the internet So that's not exactly a new thing. <laughs> Go get your mom's credit card. You are part of the internet. True, but I've also at many points made it as clear as I can. And I, I, I've done the exact amount of work I am required to do to, to where I can say that I don't feel like I have uh, tricked children into sending me money. As in, uh, you have to say that you're an adult to, uh, watch the stream, which is just about all I can do. And then I can have, you know, mods ban you if I find out you're actually under 18. Well, I can't prove it. If you release enough, if you say enough things to make it obvious, then you will be banned for it. Easy peasy. Instead, I'm monetarily taking advantage of fully grown adults. <laughs> There's a difference, you see. I'm just social hacking. Mots. Bunch of people are doing jokes about outing themselves, but they have no idea how seriously we take those. They have no idea. Well, if you weren't taking advantage of me, maybe I'd do something about it. Here we fucking go, dude. Hey, Anonymous Cheer, thanks for the hundred bits. That's really kind of you. Thanks. See, at least someone... <laughs> at least someone gets it. That's what it's about. It's about the money. <laughs> it's about the money. Don't you see? Look, you're making Poro sad. Look, look at how sad you're making Poro. God damn it. Making Poro sad again. Look at what you did. Look what all of you did. Are the thousand bits, Chalaco? I get it, bro. Thanks, Chalaco. I knew you would specifically. Thanks.
<laughs> Awkward joke, thanks for the 100 bits. They say, keep this crumb away from the mods. And Mr. Ryan6262 says, this is for you and not the mods. And they give me a thousand bits. Thanks. And the twitching squirrel with the five gifted subs. Thanks. None of this is going to the mods. In all honesty, I'd love to have the mods be paid, but I have to actually uh, have W2s made for that. Uh, which is a little bit out of my um, understanding, and I have to hire someone to do. <laughs> I have to hire someone to make a payroll for that, or else I will get audited uh, for sending, or they'll get audited, which is just as possible. Uh, because that would certainly, uh, the amount I would pay a mod would certainly be over the amount that they would be able to, uh, receive before reporting it. So yes, it is something I actually do have in the back of my mind, but it is not an easy process. Top 300 streamer doesn't pay his mods. I know for a fact, many a top 50 streamer don't pay their mods. So at least I'm sort of getting close by actively thinking about it. Miles Cactus, thanks for the thousand bits. I'm not reading that message. I'm not reading that one. Cringe. <laughs> Moderating a top 50 channel for no pay must be actual hell. Well, look, a lot of streamers justify it by saying it's volunteer work. You don't have to do it. If you don't want to, I personally do believe that uh, many of mods bite off way more than they should be chewing at any point in time. And uh, that's a hard mentality to get out of. Uh, like all serious, like seriously, like that, that is a hard, like a lot of mods take up way more work than they should. Which is the threshold where I believe they should be paid. But, uh... Again, that is a that is a process. That is not like a that's not like a simple haha, let me start sending my mods money every month because then I'll have a fucking IRS person knocking on my door. Like I, ha I you have to get documentation for it. It's something I genuinely want to get around to in 2022. But like that's it's it's a lot of work and it's something I ideally needed an accountant to deal with forever afterwards. So something I have to like hire for. Just Venmo them obscure things. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to allow, uh, figure out secret ways. Plus to be honest, and this is another reason that a lot of mod streamers actually don't pay their mods. I know uh, mods, I know we're mostly all goofing here, uh, but there is also the logistics of, uh, how do you over the internet without some sort of method actually prove that the moderators are doing something? Because obviously not every moderator does the exact same amount of work and there, it's very difficult to police that to actually pay people like a payroll for that kind of job, which is another reason why a lot of people don't do it because that's a super hard thing to do. And no, chat, making a fucking ban quota is not the answer, chat. <laughs> no, chat, ban quota is not uh, <laughs> the fucking answer. Chatty used to log mod actions. Yeah, but that's the thing is that like, even if I logged mod actions, you would still be at the point of like quota logic. And I think the idea of having a quota be the fucking threshold for knowing if someone's doing something properly is also not ideal. Because then you're just gonna see people just doing things for the sake of filling a quota. <laughs> you know? 
Chat, come on, let me time you out. I gotta be my quota, dude. Look, needless to say, it's in the back of my mind, has been for a while. It's just, I, I hope people understand when I do mention it. It is not a easy, like, haha, I flip a switch and suddenly I can pay everyone that work, like helps me out with stuff. Like, it's not that easy. <laughs> it's just really not. If anything, Twitch should be paying us for moderating their website for them. Yeah, could you imagine if Twitch, though, did anything other than contract instead? Dude, they, they do contracts, dude. Technically, Twitch can sever any connection they want with any streamer with the flip of a switch because we're all contracted. We're not actually employees. So. <laughs> Divine light severed. They put it in the contract saying you have to take care of your own shit. There's, there, look, Twitch sends me money to stream on it, but that's about the uh, amount they're willing to do in any way, shape, or form for me. And I, I know that going in. Some people don't. And they assume that Twitch will like back them up if shit goes wrong or anything. They are a contract, it's a contractor situation. So they don't give a fuck about you. and they never will. Fish stream or fishy stream. This game has horror elements and I believe is made by a dev of the Dread X collection stuff. So, um, might be kind of fishy, actually. This one might be kind of fishy. Wait, what? Yeah. This one might be kind of fishy. But yeah, we're gonna play it, and once I've beaten it, I'm likely not doing anything else tonight. I'm gonna wrap up a little early and get some rest. Like, tomorrow I got some stuff going on, and uh, I won't be able to stream. I got things I gotta do. So, um, yeah. Enjoy this while you can, because, uh, I mean, I've been doing a lot of longer streams lately, so, uh, if it ends up being, like, three hours, so be it. I really, really, really gotta make sure I don't overdo my voice, because my throat's been... What about the Sailwind stream? Oh, yeah! Tomorrow at 4 p.m., slice everyone's tires that lives near you. Make sure that they all can't leave their homes to do anything other than watch the stream, because tomorrow at 4 p.m. I'm playing Sailwind Part 2. Big event. I will be there. I promise. It's not fake. It's not. It's not fake. I will really be there for the Sailwind stream. Actually, I'm going to turn back on the music and go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Then I'm going to start playing the game. Tom, shut the fuck up! It's over. Now, Chad, I don't want to tell you this is a scary game, but it does say, uh... 
It does have some uh, stuff that makes me feel like it might be. But hey, thanks, the Wimplo, for the uh, 10 gifted subs going into this one. I appreciate it. I'm not hearing any audio for this game. But now I'm scared I'm going to get... Is that fish? Oh, there it is. Is that scary found for fish? No. The uh, audio is definitely delayed. Hang on, I gotta fix this. Uh, sometimes it happens. Give me one second. It's gotta restart my capture thing. Yoink. Nice frame rate so far. I st this is on a Dreamcast. I stole a Dreamcast from an alleyway. This is, I, I stole this. I, I did a theft for this one. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. All right, it should be good now. Oh, what? this is not good. Okay, give me a second. I gotta do the double unplug for this one because did the static thing after. Fuck you, dude. That's a double error on my capture software today. Maybe this game is cursed. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, what if this game's like double cursed, dude? Let me check. Fixed. Okay, cool. Okay, chat. So going into this game, I want you all to be aware it has some content warnings. Hang on. It's not locked to my... It's not locked to the game. Uh, we didn't actually read any of them. It gave us the option to read them. I accidentally skipped it. So, assume that there are content warnings for just about everything. There are fish involved. Uh, God knows what else could be in the game, because the game gave me the option to skip the content warnings, which might mean they're kind of supposed to be secrets. Like, I don't own a controller, especially a PS1 controller. Mysteries under Lake Ophelia. Y'all ever just go fishing at the lake? At Lake Ophelia? This game's fucked. Yeah, this game's probably fucked. Here we are. The lake. Lake Ophelia. We look like we beat the shit out of Sora and stole his clothes and then dumped him into the lake and, like, just let him drown. Like, it looks like we stole his clothes. Like, the mystery is that we killed Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Just fucking buried him by the lake. Hello? It isn't late enough to sleep yet. Better get fishing then, chat. You know how- you know what time it is, chat. Hang on, I'm gonna turn off the lights. Not that I think it's a scary game. You know how it is. Sora dead. Yeah, well, it's not much of a loss. Frankly, I think the franchise would have been better if he died in the second game, and they never made any more, ever. That might have been honestly the best option. Now where the hell is this lake? Oh. Beautiful Lake Ophelia. Should take a look around. Maybe follow this path for a little while, see what we can... See. Very quiet out. Real quiet. It's a peaceful lake. Not many people come out here anymore, not since the accident. Not since the horrible accident. How do you feel about fishing? What's that sound? There's some spooky music already, but all I see down there is a little trout. Hang on, I'm gonna catch that thing. Come here. It's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as that. Wow! It's as simple as that, dude. Wow! It's some kind of bass! Nice, put that in the bag. That's a bass, baby. Caught it instantly. Let's take a look at that. 
a good candidate for the platonic ideal of a fish. $20. There's 32 fish in the game. Not bad. Let's keep taking a look around. How far can I throw my uh, thing out? Not very. Okay, so no like going deep into the lake. I probably have to like upgrade my rod. Oh, the lake goes pretty deep, huh? Look, that's normal. That's normal fishing game stuff. That's not strange. It's normal. It's normal fishing stuff. Lakes can be deep. I am gonna catch this. I'm gonna catch another fish though. What? Hey, come here. No, 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 come on. Come here. Come here, look up. Come here. Delicious. Smiling face. For you. I don't like that hole. I see like a crack in the abyss. But I, my rod can't go that deep. Look, evidently I'm fishing in the wrong part of the lake. This part looks more accessible to me. There's more fish like closer. This is, this is where I want to fish. Right here. There's this one, look at that guy. Hey, come here. Come here. I think I'm, is that fish dead or is he just swimming sideways because that's what his fish kind does. I don't think my rod can reach down to these guys. I think, I think I'm too weak. Oh, that's more, that's my speed. That's the me section. That's the beginner section. Hang on, I, I gotta go to the beginner section. My rod doesn't reach that low. This is the section for me. This is uh, this is the section for me right here. Come on, guys. Come on, starter fish. Come on, over here, kitty pool. Hello? Whoa. Gotcha. Come here. Gotcha, you son of a bitch. Another bass. Another bass added to the pile with the other bass. No problem. What's this over here? There's like butterflies. What mysteries lie beneath Lake Ophelia? And where the hell does his path lead? It's nothing. Look, we're just gonna keep catching basic fish for now because they have a money value. Maybe there's someone I can sell them to. Hey, come here, come here. Another bass. Gotcha, like it was nothing. Another bass. Nice. This is leveling up my fishing skill. I'm gonna catch that blue thing. You see that blue thing? That's mine. Come here. Hey. Not you, fucko. There it is. You can hear the sound of the, the, the thing. You can hear when they start resisting. It's not that hard. Oh, nice. It's a tuna. Dude, kid, you can just fucking leave right now, dude. The fact that you bought, you got a tuna in fresh water that's that large is like, you're good for a while, dude. You could sell that for so much fucking money? Are you kidding me? You're rich. Like, that's a lot of money. Tuna's fucking expensive. You could sell that for a ton of money. Lake tuna, dude, fuck yeah, let's get back out there. <laughs> How much money is that gonna be? Cause tuna usually a couple hundred, like a whole one's hundreds of dollars. $25. Okay, not as much as, uh, maybe this kid doesn't know the, he's getting ripped off. Whoever's like giving him these values is ripping him off. Like he's getting scammed. Is it getting dark? Is that night fishing? Can I, uh, fish at night? At night? No, it's in my head. It's just in my head. How many fish can I carry? Does it matter? I only have one rod. Well, we can take, we can take more of a look around the area. I know there's like a sleep option, so, whoa. Let's take a look around. Tent's looking good. Nothing weird going on there. Uh, is there anything over here? I see like a weird looking tree and a house. Ooh, hey, this is the, this is the beginner pool right here. 
Little goldfish and little fucking things. This is my speed. What a cute little guppy. Put it in the bag. It will die. That's my, this is my, come here. Come here. Come here, little guy. You're done. You died the second you looked at this. The second you looked at the rod, you died. You just didn't know it. Hang on, is there, hang on. Give me a second. Could there be something up there? Oh. Chat, hold up. Something's awry. There's something in there. Something in there. Something's wrong in that hole. The hell's that? Hey, come here. Can't reach that thing. I don't want you. Another goldfish. It's getting dark. Chat, there's, it's getting dark out, too. Let's just keep... Gonna go for the, uh... Get it! I almost got it! I was close! Fuck. Dude, fuck off! You gotta get out of here! I'm gonna hunt, I'm just gonna hunt the goldfish to extinction until they stop showing up. Like, they're worthless to me. They're nothing. We're gonna keep just- we're gonna get rid of all of them. Where are your parents? It's dark. I'm, al I'm alone. Okay, I get it? Got it. And now I want you. Come here. Come on. You're the only one left. Come here. Come here! Is he blind? He's got like those freaky eyes. He's got like Krungo eyes, this thing. Oh, he sees it now. He has no idea he's gonna get caught the second he grabs it. It's as simple as that, baby. What is this? An angelfish. It really lives up to the name. It's getting dark. Maybe it's time to, uh, head on back, Chad. Name the beast. Depth to attraction six. That, it's more attractive. More fish will try to eat this. Uh, I just want to check out this abandoned house quick. What is this? You, I can cook stuff. Oh, yeah, this has me. I did like a tiny bit of fishing right before the stream. I went to a cave. Sorry, that was supposed to be reset, but I, there's a piranha. There's like a piranha in the cave over there. There's nothing else in there. But, uh, actually, we can go over there right now. Wow, nothing happened. Chat, here's what happened I logged in, and I was like, I'm gonna like quickly run around the map and make sure the game works. I walked over here. And I walked inside of a cave and nothing happened. Absolutely disgusting. You wouldn't have ever known if this game fucking deleted its saves properly, but when I pressed delete save, it didn't delete save. Blame the game, not me. It's all pre-recorded anyways. You don't care. No one cares. Other reactions are fake. I went right over here into the darkness of this cave. Which actually looks a lot better at night than when I went in during the day. And when I went in, I stood right here and I said, this place looks like shit. And I jumped down here and I went down here and then I saw a fish in this water and I was like, that one's gonna be mine. And I threw my rod in just like this. And I said, whoa, that thing looks crazy. And then I caught it. And that, there you go, you got caught up. We could even find out what that was, because I never checked. Fishopedia. Bass. We already have that guppy. A cute little aquarium fish worth $10. A tuna. Unlucky for them, tuna are considered very important commercial fish. And that bunch of shit I've never seen. It's not the same. A goldfish. Another good candidate for the platonic ideal of a fish. And an angelfish. Pretty, very pretty fish. Commonly kept in freshwater aquariums. And we have the piranha. I'll be your killer fish for the evening, and then we have the stoplight loose jaw. The stoplight loose jaw can unhinge its jaw 
And it also has a little red lights constantly glowing under its eyes. Imagine how irritating that'd be. And that's all we have. Is that, is that a anglerfish down there? Hey, come here. That one's too far to the ground. I could get that one over there. There's another one on the other side of the uh, the lake. Little pond here that might be my height. Bruh! Too far away. Wait, he saw. He sees. He sees. I think he. I think he sees. Nope. <laughs> he does not see. Uh, let's try again from here. Come here. Yeah, he sees it. He broke my wire. Okay, I can't just pull him in as easily as I thought I could. He snapped, he just snapped my, my string, the, the line right in half. Okay, that time he was tuckered out. <laughs> he didn't even, he didn't even bother trying. He just gave, he, he grabbed it and just immediately fell asleep on the, on, whatever. Ooh, an anglerfish. I've seen these guys in movies. Chad, I've gone fishing before. I've gone fishing many a time, actually. I actually don't hate fishing. I hate the idea of sitting out in the sun for hours fishing. But I actually find quite a lot of enjoyment in eating the thing I caught. Because typically, I swear, and it's probably placebo, the fish typically tastes better when you actually catch it. Much like how food tastes better when you cook it yourself. I swear, it's weird. It's placebo. Yeah, probably. It's all of the mercury. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's probably a lot of mercury. Food I cook tastes terrible. Dude, imagine having a life like that with your life where when you make something, it's just bad and sad. Like, I've never made food that tastes, like, worse than what I've eaten. Like, like if I've if someone made something for me and I made it myself, the thing I made always tastes better every single time. Maybe it's because in the back of my mind I always think the person poisoned me. Maybe that's what it is. Would you say you're a good cook? Yes, I'm a pretty good cook. Uh, but... I also may just believe that people are always out to poison me. And that's why. Hmm. There's definitely in the back of my mind the thought that perhaps someone may poison me. And try to dispatch me. And maybe at a certain point, it's made all food taste a little bit off to me. Because I'm always trying to taste around for poison. Y'all ever eaten piranha? With bass? And guppy. <laughs> and a goldfish. Let's cook that up, see what comes out. You made dubious fish. Here's the thing. That don't look half bad. That doesn't... Look that bad. What's that, broth? Is that like some kind of, like, broth? You like some kind of fish stew out of that? I mean, it's a little, one big piece of fish. It crunched. Okay, it probably shouldn't crunch. You feel slightly luckier. Okay, well, let's just put a bunch of bass in it with some tuna. We still need one more thing. And another goldfish. I probably ruined it again. <laughs> the goldfish, the goldfish ruined it. Like it was good until the goldfish. I feel slightly luckier again. Okay, uh, let's do an anglerfish, some stoplight loose jaws, and an angelfish. It's all dubious. I, I my character has thrown a, uh, together many bad fish today. Well. Hey, you can't win them all. Let's go back home to the campsite. Man, you suck at cooking. I'll show you. Hey, come here. Hey, idiot. Yeah, come here, stupid eyes. Look at you. Look at this one. 
A little tiger barb. Yeah, grab that thing. Grab one of these. Hey, idiot. Come here. Yeah, come here. Gotcha. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm going to make a real meal out of the fish in the small, sad pond. Hey, idiot. Come here. Gotcha. I'll show you. I'll show all of you. I'm going to make a fish out of just guppies. Hey. I'm going to make these small fish into a big meal. Then you'll see. Wait. There's an angel fish out here. Then I guess I'm only I only went in here for the uh thing. Hey idiot. Come here. Foolish. Ah, this game's relaxing. Surely nothing <laughs> happens. Eventually, that would make that not be the case at all. Just keep catching fish. For now. How much do I have? Do I have enough to cook what I want? I don't have, like, the a way to see my inventory of fish very easily. Does this game actually get spooky? I'll never tell. I'll never tell. Goldfish, 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 guppy. Make a real meal. I don't think my character knows how to cook. I think my character just doesn't know how to cook. But every time he does this, he feels a little bit luckier. So maybe one day. Let's just uh, swing on back to the camp. I don't know where the sun is, but um, maybe we take it easy. How's that? Who the fuck is that at my campsite? Hello? Who the hell are you? Scouting move. Go. Looks like some kind of ghoul. I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't make any sudden moves, man. Dude. It's Dr. Robotnik. Except he's taking like a day off. He's trying not to think about Sonic. Today. Or like, a, he's like, he's in vacation mode. Hey. Hey, kid. Didn't anyone tell you not to talk to strangers? You're at my camp. This is, I am staying here. This is my camp. And you're at it. They could be dangerous. Never open with that. Nah, I'm just missing. I mean no harm. Look, I traveled around bodies of water selling equipment. Oh my god, wait, he's a fish gear salesman. I doubt you got a lot on you, but you should also... You should know I also buy catches. It's a great way to acquire lots of weird shit. Please, let me know if you're looking to buy or sell anything. I s ate all the crap I had. Damn it. I could have sworn I saw two yellow eyes in the forest last night. Huh? Realistically, it was probably just the fireflies. Huh? I'm not gonna worry about it. Here's my guppies. Wow, yeah, it's gonna cost a bit of money for me to buy the industrial hyper rod. That's for sure, Doc. But I'll be back. So we just gotta catch some fish, and then we can purchase the industrial Omega Hyper Rod. Why would you say something like that? Trying to scare a child? Trying to startle me? Let's go back to the cave. That place had piranhas that sold for a lot more money than anything else out here. I think we go to the cave. If we're trying to make money, all right, buying, selling guppies ain't gonna be the way. It's gonna be selling piranhas. That's the, that's the money maker. They're worth more money than the tunas. We'll swing on back over to the cave of death and then uh, go from there. I almost flopped into the water. I think my kid could drown. Look, as long as we don't stay out at night anymore, we should be okay. No more night, no more night fishing. Okay, I think um, just to be safe, just in case there is something in the woods. Not like there is. 
But you can tell that's a solid, like, texture of trees. Not like there is, but if there was, it might be a good idea if we, um, don't stay out at night anymore. Just, just for a bit. Come here. You know, just, just in case. Is it already becoming nighttime? Fuck. Well, the one thing an animal, a wild animal wouldn't do is hang out in a cave at night. So this is probably a decent option. All right, so these piranhas are worth a lot of money if they actually take the bait. But they're a little uh, submerged. Hey, come here. Hey. 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 Hey, idiot. God damn it. I gotta get closer. They're not gonna buy it. I don't know if these things are respawning. I think I may have accidentally hunted these things to complete extinction. Is that something in the water? See that blue thing? That's something. I don't think I'm going to be getting anything from these uh, two. They're too low down. Maybe there's some fish that are in the ponds up here that I can get some sick money out of. Get some sick cash money out of. No. It's getting late. We probably want to head on back now before it gets any darker. For our own sake. Just in case. Not that I'm worried or nothing. It's just weird things happen at night nowadays in this lake. Real weird things. Just a little guy. Let's head on back. For now. Okay? For now. Just for now. Let's head on back. As soon as I catch this last fish, I'm just gonna catch this, this guy right here. Come here. Hey, idiot! Look over here. Nah, over here. Come on. Over right over here. I'm gonna cut him off. I got this guy right where I want him. There it is. Got him. What is this? A salmon? I've always loved the colors on these guys. Dude, salmon is a premium fish. I might even get salmon tonight for dinner. Salmon is like a premium fish. Sun setting. Better head on back to town. Little camp. Better head on back to camp. You never know when there might be some kind of psycho. I need more caffeine. I'll be right back. I'm back. I've, I've returned. I, he fell. I didn't fall. It's just the thing I need to grab is like right behind me and just out of reach of my... Uh, just out of reach of my hands, so. Caffeine is the only thing that keeps me alive. He was actually really sad. I talked to my doctor recently, and he actually pulled me aside, and he said, if I ever stopped drinking caffeine, my heart would stop. And he said, you have to keep drinking it no matter what, or you will die. He, he told me that. Not seeing anything in the woods. Maybe it was just in that guy's head after all. Must have just been in his head. How's it going, old man? I'd like to sell some things to you. Some guppies I found. And a salmon for $25. I'm going to sleep. Now seems like a perfect time to catch some Z's. I bet this will respawn every fish in the area. Everything looks the same. No strangeness in the area. How much coffee you drink in a day? Probably three cups. If I'm being honest. Not an insane amount. That's not good. Yeah, thanks. I was asking you. Yeah. I was asking you. Now I that's not that much and on top of it in the grand scheme. I'm very I'm pretty big So three cups of coffee for me is nowhere near as much as it would be for some of you small people 
that are like fucking five, like ten. Like for you, it might be like three cups is enough to almost stop your poor heart. For me, it's like I barely even sense it. Come here. Another tiger bar. These things sell for like twenty dollars. All of you young people and your caffeine tolerance. Dude. If, Chad, if I ever become an old that says all you young people ever fucking stop, like, do something to stop me. Like, light a fire outside my house to stop me from c completing that message. Because I, I don't want to become, I don't want to, I don't want to become that. You, you, you zoomers. <laughs> It's coming. Any piranhas? Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's a it's a it's a full-on fucking there's so many of them. There it is. Come right here. There it is. Fifty dollars on the table. He broke the fucking line, the asshole. Alright. Bite it again. See what happens the second time. No no no, come here. Come here, come here, come here a little bit closer. Come on, gotcha! Pathetic. Another one of these red light guys. Like it was nothing. This is gonna make us a lot of money and then we'll be able to buy the good rods, chat, and then we're going deep into the depths. Shit. And we're going deep. Hey, come here. Fucking asshole, really? Come here, bite it again. Okay, that time was much easier. Another piranha! Remember, we can sell these things for 50 a pop. These piranhas are worth a ridiculous amount of money. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Another piranha! Well, we've hunted them to extinction at last, Chet. Unless there's some in one of the uh, ponds up above. We officially killed everything in this la- Oh, there's still a survivor. There's still one left. They can tell stories of me. They can tell stories to all the, the younglings about the time that the fishermen came to town. The one dressed up as Sora from Kingdom Hearts. They can explain how he, how, how he cleaved all of their family members in twine with the Keyblade. Dude, Y'all ever think that the Keyblade is kind of bullshit? Like, that's a bad sword. And there's no way you can make a fucking lock that works with a key that big. So it's basically complete BS. Like, like, the top, like it would be so fucking... Like, it's a blunt object. It's not even a blade. It's just bad. It's like a bat. What I'm saying is that if Sora came at me with his Keyblade and he was like, I'm going to um, de defeat the darkness in your heart and I shot him with a gun right into his chest, I don't think his Keyblade would stop it and I think everyone would agree that my gun is better than his Keyblade. Like, pretty much right there on the spot. I could say, I, I released the darkness in your chest by uh, opening a cavity straight out to the outside world with uh, my gun. Like that's two. There's two separate ways to destroy the darkness in your heart, and mine was by simply sp like just spraying your heart all over the wall behind you. <laughs> Dude, this got dark. What I'm saying is Sora should watch his back. All right, because after Kingdom Hearts three, I'm still PO to him about uh the three hundred clams. Y'all play that? Y'all play the three hundred clam sequence in Kingdom Hearts? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember the three hundred clams? I remember, I'll never forget. Something in the woods. Something's awry. There's an old sailor saying that goes something like, under ye sunken eyes, deep below the blue, where man can't reach, that beware truth. I honestly have no idea what it means. Maybe they were talking about a hidden treasure. If you find anything like that, please consider selling it to me. All right, old man. Goldfish. 
Dude, there's the fucking money. There it is. Right there. Now we can start buying things. How much is it gonna be for a better optiplane carbon rod? I don't know. I think for now we invest in uh, getting the rubber eel. Figure out what that does for me. What does the rubber eel do? There it is. Look at that depth. Yeah, that'll do. Eight depth. We can actually get somewhere now. Unpopular opinion. Kingdom Hearts 3 and the DLC slap. That is an unpopular opinion. <laughs> that is an un Matter of fact, you're right. That is an unpopular opinion. True. How deep does this go now? Deep. Very deep. All right. We can catch many more things like this. We can work with this. That's pretty deep. I kind of want to catch that guy. You see that guy right there? The sideways thing? Oh, perfect. This thing's mine. The flounder or whatever this is. The funny fish. We can agree this is like a funny fish, right? Like this one's like classic freak funny fish stuff. He's trying to break my line. I got him. He's trying to break my line again. He's trying to... Got him. It's over. Finally! My first halibut! Bad looking fish. <laughs> Dude, imagine... Imagine being born to look like Skagzak. Imagine be living like that. Ugh, couldn't be me. It's so flat. How much is that going to be worth, though, on the free market? Because I don't care much about anything other than the market. $35. Not great. Not terrible. But we could do better. I think we nightfish tonight, chat. I'm not afraid. Look, the monster never came. I'm not worried about it. And the best fish of all come out at night. You know what I mean? I think maybe we do some night fishing. Dude, I'm making this such a fucking process for this poor bass. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. He's trying his damn hardest to get to this bait. He has no idea what waits for him. I feel bad. This is fucked up. Another bass! Yeah, that's o it's over. That was sad. So I've never caught one of these guys. I see this orange guy. And I cast my line really far out and then pull it in. Cut him off. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here! Hey! Oh, this guy's not gonna fucking notice. The depth is too much. Wait, no, he notices. He sees. The lake is glowing? No, it isn't. Look at the lake. Wait, what is that? What the hell? So maybe there is some treasure down there. Chat, there's treasure down there. Just like I said. There really is treasure in the lake. We just gotta get down there and catch it. This fish does not want to die. We got him. Oh, nice. It's an orange rockfish. It's top fin looks so pointy. We're night fishing, chat. Who knows what kind of magic we'll find out here. At night. Wait, wow, it is really glowing. What the? I can't get anywhere near that. I need like a... Su Actually, if I was right there, I might be able to. Hang on, I'm looping around. Hang on, I'm gonna do a quick little loop around at night. Also, you think there might be something up on that ridge? Something, something that I can't climb up to? Let me check. 
No. May actually maybe. I would have to throw up my rod. I would have to throw up the line like right about here. Right there, so I can actually get over the ledge. Well, well, well. I can't, I definitely can't get the rod, like the actual line up there though. I need a better uh I need a better fishing rod to reach the far side to actually do it. But you can. You totally can. So what's up with the green? What's up with the ooze? Also, uh, I'm telling you right now, I can't reach it. Whatever's in that radioactive sludge off the coast. My rod is only half the distance required to uh, reach that. Don't know what's down there, chat. Don't know if I really want to know. But I saw a manta ray for a second down there. That was like a manta ray. Did you see that? It was like a manta ray. Something's awry in the middle of the lake. I'm gonna catch some more fish. Try to make some more money. Get us closer to the middle of the lake. Hey, Tuna! He knows. He knows. He knew it was bad. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, there it is. There it is, dude. Look at him. Stupid-eyed looking motherfucker. Has no idea. Five seconds of... Dude, imagine having only five seconds of memory. Like, forever. Like, that was you forever. It was just, like, five seconds, and I'm done. Nothing... I'll delete all everything I just... I, I just had. I'd probably be happier. What the hell does that mean? Dude, wait. If you all had five seconds of... Memory. Imagine how many times I could rerun jokes. My job would be so easy. Anyone want to bite this? Anyone want to bite this? Ha! Ah, so funny. Anyone want to bite this? Come here. Hey, you. I can't tell if this guy's really far away or really big. I'm going to do another. I'm going to try it again. Hey. Want this? What the fuck's your problem, asshole? He's gone. No one... This whole area really doesn't like fishing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Cut him off. Hey, you want this? Hey. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hey. Really? Really? Re there it is. There it is. Pull him nice and close. Make it easy. It's time. Wow, that was really sad. He didn't do much of anything. Whoa! What is this thing? A barracuda? I can't believe this lake has every fish ever inside of it. What is it? How much is that worth, though, to me? Rockfish is 35 Barracuda, $70. A ferocious predator. It looks dangerous and cool on account of its sharp teeth. Easy. That's called money in the bank. We can start saving up for a good rod soon. There's nothing... I gotta get, like, my character to sleep, though. Not much, uh, most of the stuff that's, like, out here is, like, just far enough away that I can't reach it. Let's catch this orange fish. Come here, come here, come here. Whenever I fucking throw my line, all the fish scatter because they know something's awry. I don't care which one of you comes to bite it. Just one of you come here. All right? Yeah, what's this one? Hey, fuck off! Damn it! I didn't want you! How many times I gotta tell you this? 
Nice. Another rockfish. I didn't want that. I wanted the pike. It came up. I think that's a pike. It came up out of the... Come here. You. Yeah, there it is. No one's getting involved this time. I don't think I've caught this yet. I gotta put it in the book. We're gonna make it work for it. We're making it work for it. We're gonna make we're gonna make it work for it. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right. Uh, okay, we got him. We got him. There it is. Wow! A northern pike! You can tell it's it's not a northern pike. It's a northern pike because, uh... This lake is... This lake is actually in the... It's in the middle of the United States. It actually doesn't make any sense how any of these fish are here. Um, it's actually weird. Like, there's no... The source of the lake is just a, it's just a waterfall. There's no river. It just comes out of the, all the fish come out of a cave. Like a really weird cave and you hear moaning and screaming inside of the cave all the time. And then like salmon come out of it. What the fuck is that emote? You mean the uh, blob? The sad blob? The kid blinks. Yeah, he does blink. Fish moly. Why you guys not like it? You're gonna make him sad, dude. It has so many fins. Chat, look, it basically, if you have any question about why the fish are here, it, don't ask me, ask the mysteries under Lake Ophelia, which is the name of the game, and therefore what we are sort of aiming towards getting to is, of course, the uh, mystery under the Lake of o uh, Lake Ophelia. Um, Could it be a, a bunch of toxic waste? Could it be... A bunch of mercury. Could it be a bunch of garbage? Really, it could be anything. It could be some kind of monster. But the odds of that are fairly low. Ophelia these nuts. Can we get a timeout on that person's permanent record? Thank you. If the lake is thinning out, just get some rest for the night. When you wake up, you might find fish will come out of the woodwork. I'm gonna sell a halibut, gonna sell bass, gonna sell rockfish, gonna sell tuna, gonna sell barracuda, gonna sell a rockfish, gonna sell a northern pike. That's called money. The next uh, thing is 450, but I kind of want to go for classic fish. Is that, a, or maybe the new rod? Kind of don't want to go for squid. Is it time? Maybe I go to sleep. Okay, I can't. Look, let's just worry about it. Let's catch some more fish. Wait, did someone do a psycho move in chat? Did I miss it? Wait, I'm seeing a lot of people going, uh, oof and bro. What happened? Why don't I get to inv be involved in my own chat? It better make me laugh. Someone, someone explain it to me in like really weird, awkward detail without any of the context. Just tell me the punchline. Nothing else. Just tell me the fucking punchline. I'll, I'll laugh. You had to be there. Fuck you. Tell me now or you're banned. I want to see if I can like get this over the edge. Tell me now. Tell me right now. I'm gonna flip. Tuna. I think the best places to make money is absolutely gonna be the uh, cave. I think the cave is the money making zone. Have I slept recently though? Because I don't remember if there's gonna be anything in the cave to make money off of. Oh, I can get whatever that blue thing was in the cave. That's right. This uh, this thing can go deep enough to grab it. Let's go get that. And get that thing in the cave. I also might be able to reach down there. I'm not sure. I definitely can't reach all the way over to it, but I might be able to go deep enough to lure some of the things from the bottom up. What the heck is that? 
beneath the ridge there. Oh, nowhere near deep enough. Are those, uh, what are those skulls? Why do those look like human skulls? I'm gonna double back on that. Not the, not the ore fish. I don't give a fuck about the fish. I give a fuck about the mystery beneath Ophelia Lake. Don't you see, Chet? I don't care for, I don't give one shit about anything other than the mystery. Stay out of my way. I'm going for that thing. What did I tell you? He's gonna be, this guy's actually gonna gatekeep me from getting this thing. Don't come near me, I'm fishing for the thing. He's gonna get involved. I have to kill this thing before I do this. I might not be able to reach it. Oh, I'm gonna kill this thing. Hang on, I'm getting rid of this thing. Out of my way. I don't even put it in my bag, I immediately throw it onto the rock. And just like step away from me. Get out of the lake! I'm trying to catch this thing! This time, for sure. Come on, dude! There's no way! I can get it! I, I definitely don't need it to be. I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. I can get this. Look, I'm perfectly aligned this time. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna flip. <laughs> I'm gonna flip. Okay, we can't get it yet. Fuck! I wonder if I could get up there on this line. There's no way, right? There's definitely something up there, too. Oh, yeah. Something weird's going on at the lake. Couldn't see whatever it was. Something weird's going on at the lake, Jet. Let's just get to sleep. We'll be back in the morning. I think it's just a skylight. I bet you're also one of those people that thinks the green aura, the green glow inside of the lake is just a strange, uncanny glow and not a symbol of some sort of dark being beneath the surface. But I don't subscribe to such pointless thoughts as you. I instead choose to believe in completely unbelievable bullshit in order to rationalize the insane thoughts in my head. There's a monster underneath the lake! All right, I'm gonna catch it with this rod. And then I'm gonna sell it or eat it. Whichever one I choose. All right. Also, what are these butterflies for? Can I do something with this? Hey, you guys do something? Can't seem to catch them. But what are they for? What is all this? What's this for? What are these? What are these? Why are you here? Surely get, there's a sign. Like, give me a sign. All right, we're just gonna. Most of the best fish for money have been caught by me today. So I think the best bet is to probably, uh,. Head on back and go to sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, we'll have a uh, we'll have some new fish to catch, and then we can make enough money to complete our dark work. Tomato at tomato. Charlie's put fucking onions on my buffalo sub and ruined my night. For a second, I thought you said Charlie, like just a guy, like just yelling at me about a guy named Charlie who put onions on you, like just ruined your night, like at tomato, like John just fucking like poured milk all over my food by accident and ruined my night. What do I do? Like just like really specific. Dude, punch Charlie in the fucking face. 
You, you should, everyone should know better than to ruin anything, any sort of buffalo, anything, okay? Bop, just fucking deck him. Don't let him do it again. Don't actually, uh, don't actually do that. Don't, um, don't attack people named Charlie or anyone in Charlie's if that's a brand, uh, store. Don't do either of those. Hey, I've got stuff to sell, sir. I've got stuff to sell to you. $410. I'm going to go to sleep. I have a parrot named Charlie. Should I hit her? No, you fucking shouldn't. What kind of at even is that, psycho? You a maniac? I'm gonna out myself as a psycho. <laughs> That'll be my chat plan. Maniac. Dude. <laughs> Bur the only birds that deserve it, that deserve anything, okay? Anything at all are the gooses and the swans. Because if they're going to dish it out, they deserve to get it back. But that's it. Okay? Where the hell is all the fish? What's happening? Why are there no, there's no fish anywhere for miles today? It's like they all just, like all the good ones just up and vanished or something. Something's awry at the lake, at old Lake Ophelia. It seems like there's maybe some kind of mystery happening right before our very eyes. Does that make sense? Come here, come closer. I think that's way too, it sees me. I think it sees me. Come here. Come here. Okay, he did not see me. I Chad, I think they're I, and this correct me if I'm wrong. Like stop me if you've heard this one. I think there might be a mystery in Lake Ophelia. Or perhaps under the lake. That we need to solve. We'll just catch some extra fish. I think I am going to go for the special fancy new rod. Dude, this fish is seriously going to do this. And I'm going to try to stall him from like... Wow, this guy is crazy. This is like, this is a psycho. Uh, okay, he's, uh, he's going to keep doing it. Stop! 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 Please. All right, we got him. Another rockfish. These guys are not worth this trouble. They aren't worth that much money. Uh, but I'll catch anything at this point if it means getting closer to a good rod. I think I buy a new rod before I buy a new lure. Oh, I gotta check behind the fucking cliff. Remember, I saw that skull. I saw those human body parts. I think. Dude, come on. Tuna. Yeah, come here. I think I saw human body parts. That or it was nothing. It might, it was either rocks or human corpses. <laughs> Which, I, I know, those are wildly different. And I really shouldn't be saying I saw one of those two things ever in a lake before confirming it. But I'm gonna go over there right now and confirm it. I think, I think it might be I think it might be corpses. I think it might be corpses beneath the lake. I'm going over. I'm gonna ask the questions no one's brave enough to ask but me. I'm gonna check. If I can get the angle on it. It's about as close as I can get. Oh my god. Those look just like human skulls. That or it's clams. It might actually be clams. Chad, I think we might just be dealing with two clams. I think they might be clams. 
Yeah, I think those are clams. I think it's clams. Hmm. It might be, it's either two clams or the dead body of a human that fell from the cliff. Hmm. Let's just go back to Piranha Pond and try to make some money. We know exactly what we gotta do. Oh, what kind of fish are these? Come here. Dude, are fish just not into my shit anymore? Because I swear, they are not, like, biting as much. Like, they they require quite a bit of work. To, uh, usually, uh, back in the day, I remember these fish would jump right into my dang hands. It's just a little guy. Yeah, well, he's worth $20 on the free market. So I don't know what to tell you. He's worth $20 on the market. He'd have to be worth 20 less dollars for me to fucking let him go. All right? Easy now. Easy now. Easy now. We're gonna wipe out the entire ecosystem in this lake again to make enough money to uh, purchase whatever I so desire in this world is the plan. He's just a goofy little guy. Easy now. Easy now. Almost got me. Is it, but is it? I don't remember how much the... Wait, I've never caught one of these. A football fish. It looks like, a, like it has a whip on its head. I don't think I've ever caught a football fish. I think I... Yeah, there was an angler fish before. That was a different kind of fish. I thought I was catching another angler, but that was a, that was a, brother, that was a football fish right there. Check the pedia. Oh, I'm gonna check the pedia. As soon as I'm catching, done catching this guy. And the rest of everyone in here, because I sort of have a time limit, because I want to be back at the uh, camp before the sun sets, because I'm afraid of monsters. I'm getting more and more wary of monsters, because for some reason this game, it's giving me weird vibes, chat. I don't know about the mystery under the lake. But it's giving me weird, uh, games give me weird vibes for some reason. I don't know if I'm just paranoid or if there really might be something underneath the lake. But, uh, I'm not spooked. I'm just, like, uncomfortable. Come here, Piranha-chan. Man, you are not putting much effort into this catch. <laughs> He's, like, tired. He doesn't really want to be here today. We got him. Maybe, chat, maybe the mystery underneath Lake Ophelia is a wormhole that leads to the bottom of the ocean. And that's how all these fish got here. But that, I don't know how they get to this pond. The smaller part. Why don't you stay out at night? Because of the strange aura? The strange, like, ghostly uh, ooze in the lake at night. Have you, you've seen the ghostly ooze. Dude, can you fucking come here? Bro. Can you come here? Can you come here? Thanks. I can help. All right, one last catch and then they're all gone. I'll sell all this stuff for money. Are you, you are fishing in a nature preserve slash aquarium, you monster. Well, next time put up signs and a fence, assholes. All right, like, I don't know what to, if you're not gonna fucking properly label it, how can you blame me for going in and wiping out the ecosystem? There's no fence. There's no signs that say nature preserve. Please don't fish here. Also, I'm almost positive not all these are freshwater fish. So it's kind of fucked up that they're even alive. Which goes back to that green ooze question. You see that, don't you, chat? Whenever the sun sets. Out here. On the, uh, on the old lake, Lake Ophelia. Stuff gets real quiet. You look out in the woods and you don't see nothing. But when you look in... Towards the lake. It's a strange green light. No one knows where it come from. No one. 
Maybe it's radio. Maybe it's radiation. Maybe it's a big funny looking fish that glows in the dark. Or maybe some kind of monster. I'm heading to sleep. I reckon. If the lake just didn't help, go to sleep. I know. Here, I got some fish for you. Oh, that's a new rod! Or we could buy the classic fish. Mm, I kind of want the Optiplane Carbon Rod. I kind of want the Optiplane Carbon Omega Rod. Look at this thing. Wait, I don't know if I actually selected or not. Oh, here we go. Optiplane Carbon Rod. Let's see how far out I can... Uh, bada bingus. Holy shit! Whoa, dude, kid, chill it out. Whoa! <laughs> you can't stop it! I got it. I'm going to sleep, and when I wake up, we're gonna do we're gonna do some experimenting. Chat. Have you ever tried looking over the tree line? Now it's probably nothing, but what if there was uh? Something over there. How did we get here? Chat? Where does the guy sleep? He doesn't. So how far out can I throw this? Because it doesn't go any deeper. We're pretty much stuck at the same depth right now until I buy another lure. However, depending on how far we can throw this, there is some stuff we can... Oh my god. Pretty far. With no additional depth options, we are somewhat limited with our uh, things we can catch still. But I have an idea. We have places we can check out now. We couldn't check before. Most of this section over here is now doable because the issue is that most of the fish in this area were not uh, close enough to the lake shores. So a lot of stuff out here we can probably do now if we want. Most of these guys are actually pretty close right now. Hey, come here. Come here, funny little bass. Come here. That guy, that, I think that bass is just dead. He's not moving. I'm gonna check up the waterfall. Whenever I get near the waterfall, this weird music starts to play. Chat. Don't know what the deal is with it. But this weird music starts to play the second I get near it, and then it acts like it's normal, and the ambience shifts. Something's wrong. I'm going to catch everything else in here again, because it's actually made me a lot of money. I do need the next lure. Come here. I still can't believe I can't reach the bottom of this thing to grab that lure. It's actually fucking pissing me off. Dude. Come here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. $50. Fifty dollars a second he bites. Fifty dollars. He broke the fucking line. The asshole broke the line. Bite this thing now. Come here. You can't just break the line. What? How the hell did he break the line? He was an inch from the exit. Whoa, I, that was accidental. He doesn't even see them as living things anymore, just money. Look, I'll see the fish, I'll see these fish as living things when they can, like, write me a heartfelt letter pr asking me to stop fishing them. But until then, 
Their money. And food. <laughs> I don't know. These are piranhas. They're not even like the like the cute funny fish. They're the uh, monsters that you just made Poro sad. Anyone can post Poro sad. All right, it doesn't mean Poro's actually sad. I'm getting sick of this. You have a license to post Poro sad from now on. I don't think Poro knows how to be happy. I think Poro just needs to get a therapist or something. Or like, I don't know, go to a doctor. It seems like he's always sad. I'm worried about him. Who the fuck is Poro and why do I care? Damn, man, what the fuck? <laughs> True, but unnecessary to say. How the fuck are you still in the fight? What is this? I gotcha. All right, that's a lot of money. Okay, so I'm going to throw my rod up that hole and see if, I, see if there's anything up there. There's gotta be something weird going on. Chad, I'm just gonna be honest. Is something not, hang on. Come here, bite this. Hey, bite this, bite this, bite this. I gotta make sure you're all dead. Gotcha. Okay, I, something off about the lake. Okay? Something weird about the lake. I gotta find out. I got, I'm just gonna check where the water comes from. Okay, let's check it. There is something up here. What's that? What is that? What is that thing? Fuck. Alright, hang on. I gotta aim like there. Not too wide. This is gonna be- this is hard. This is gonna be hard to do. Why does it look like a bone? Why does it look like a skull? Come here. It's more like right there. I'm shooting too wide every single time. We want to aim right there. There we go. Now gently. Maybe a little bit more. Nope, we got it. I don't know what it was, but we got it. Name Peeb. <laughs> it's got more attraction but less depth. What does this look like? It just looks like a screaming guy. Or like a weird nose thing. Yeah, that's Peeb. Love Peeb. <laughs> Absolutely love Peeb. I'm gonna check what's up the waterfall. All right, I'm gonna find out what the hell's up there. If I can, if the game will let me. The devs aren't afraid. I don't think the game's gonna let me. We may never know what's up that waterfall. Do something, peep! I don't think we can get up there. Nah, because those trees in the background aren't solid. So you can't aim at them. You can only aim at stuff that exists. See? The, you, the, target, the targeting reticle disappears when you look at the ones in the back. And you can tell that you can aim at anything because, look, I can see my red way back there. Like, you can aim at anything that's actually, like, physically there. So, um... No dice. But I can check out what's in the lake up here. The, these have got to be worth a lot of money. What's that? Koi? Hey. Someone? All right, none of them are paying attention. Come on, peep. Hang on. I'm going to just line this up a bit more cleanly.
All right, peep. Get us something. These guys. Yeah, there we go. They're gra they've grabbed peep. A koi. How graceful. Yeah, but how much is a koi worth on the free market? How much can I make off of a koi? Let's just be honest now. $35? Mmm. It's not worth a lot of money, is it? That's not a very good value for the amount of effort it took for Peep to get up here. Well, what about this guy? This guy, on the other hand. The funny looking fish? Gotcha. A catfish. Ooh, I. Oh, catfish is so good. God damn it, I haven't had catfish in a while. How much are you worth? Only 50. Okay, so it is objectively. Hang on, chat. There is one thing we can do. While we can't get to the bottom, we can absolutely throw our rod to the green and see what's there. Maybe we just go to the green. Peep! Peep! What do you see, Peep? Peep! He sees nothing. But I see the glow down there. Strange. Sorry, Peep. That was an accident. Good God, this rod's very strong. All right, we're heading back. We have enough, we definitely have enough to buy a new lure that hopefully goes deeper. I'm assuming the squid one will go deeper than maybe lower attraction, but higher depth. And uh, that's what we're kind of hoping for right now. We need something that's going to reach the depths. I'd say our rod is good for a long while. It might even be good forever. I don't know if we need another rod. We can reach the middle of the map. What's hanging off his rod? That's Peep, you fucking idiot. <laughs> That's Peep. He, he's dangling from his nose or his cock. It's really one or the other. How about you get, how about you learn some manners? It's Peep. We're heading back to town. It's Peep. See, you made Poro sad. <laughs> Look at what you did. You made him sad. You gotta get out of here. Hey, what's up? I'm here to sell fish. Make sure you're moving your lure out there after it's been casted. Fish love that shit. Yeah, whatever, old man. How much you gonna buy all this crap for? $4.90. Do I just save up for classic fish? I think I save up for classic. I don't think I want to get some pathetic fish when I could save up for the classic. Unless that doesn't get me more depth. It might not get me more depth. If it doesn't get me more depth and it's just like higher attraction again, I'm going to be really sad. Squid might be better for depth. Hmm, hmm, gosh, I don't know. It's hard to decide these things. Hey, you wanna hang out with Peep? Come here. Yeah, he sees it. The second Peep started moving, he was, he was all in. Peep is very attractive to fish. Will Tomato play Peeb's adventure? Is it real? Or are you playing a fucking funny joke on me? Because I'm not laughing. It is. Is it... What kind of game is it? It's real. It's from the haunted demo disc. I don't play scary games. So, no. Yeah, I don't play- I don't play those kinds of games. So I'm not interested. Loser. Uh, hey, can we, uh, get rid of that guy? 
Get rid of that guy. Can we get rid of him? Thanks. Thanks. He hates horror. Come on, mods, get your band quota up. <laughs> Someone, so everyone race for it, okay? Let's get that quota up. Come here. Uh, what is that thing? That thing's kind of funny looking. Come here. Come on, don't you guys want peeb? No one's even looking at Peep. It seems all the fish have gotten sick of Peep. None of them seem to be very interested in Peep anymore. Have I caught that fish before? That's new. Let's catch this thing. Wow, it never stood a chance. Holy mackerel! <laughs> Ah, uh, that's funny. What is this, fucking Animal Crossing? Dude, I can't tell you how quickly all the Animal Crossing jokes got old for me, personally. At a certain point, I was banging my head against a wall if I saw one more fish pun. I, I, it was starting to drive me truly insane. How much did the football fish sell for? Everything in this area sells for a really good amount. Which is good, but I think the football one might have sold for extra. C plus. What are you guys rating these now? Or is that one of the jokes? Y'all making some kind of. Y'all, y'all quoting some kind of fucking Animal Crossing joke? Yeah, every time we catch a fish from now on, just read out the Animal Crossing joke instead as well. That'll make me really happy. I really like those. Peep kind of looks like a Trebum. Nah. Trebums are too fucking ugly to look anything like Peep. Wow. Wow, this guy, this fish actually fucking defeated the line. Do we even deserve peep? I can tell you that you don't, but I do. Sorry. Peep's only here to hang out with me, not you. <laughs> now you made Poro sad. So Poro's just some character from League, huh? Because that does make sense why he's sad when I think about that. It makes sense why he's sad, why he's crying. Like in a, oh man, I'm from League. Why couldn't I be a Pokemon? You know, like that's kind of the Poro sad vibe I get is like the sadness of realizing he's not a Pokemon or a Digimon. He's a character from League of Legends. <laughs> Poro sad, he went 018. Yeah, that sounds about right. We're heading back to the base. We're gonna sell these fish, and then, Chad, we're going deep into the depths. I think it's the last lore. I think fish lore is the last lore. Unless squid lore goes deeper. And if it does, if the fish lore is the last one, we can go right into the bottom of the cave. What's up, old man? I am $20 short. Wait, no, it's it's seven hundred dollars. It's not seven fifty. Yeah, we're good. Wait, no, there's a fifth okay, there is one more, but the this should be plenty. This classic one should get us a lot of stuff. See you later, peep. So uh how deep does this go? Sixty-five <laughs> We're going fishing! 
Come on, chat. Let's find out the mystery of the lake. But first, I'm going to grab those skulls. First, I'm going to grab those skulls. At the bottom of Kill Cliff. Shot. Was that a perfect throw? Fuck, I was close. No, those look a lot more like clams. When I look at it carefully, I see clams. I don't... Chad, I'm gonna have to be honest. I don't think those are actually, uh... Skulls. I don't think those are human skulls. But they might be sea burgers. Look kind of like they could be some kind of sandwich. Still not a horror game. Yeah, no, it's still fine. Nothing weird so far, really. Let's see how deep this thing actually goes. Oh my god, dude. Let's grab these. What is this? What? Those are some spiky mouthed goddamn clams. Why they got teeth? Oh god! This thing looked cute at first. But it has a bunch of weird eyes. What uh what is that thing? Where is it? Scallop. This is what a scallop is like? Scallops are known to produce luxurious pearls on a very rare occasions. I've never looked at what a scallop looks like. Well, they taste good, and that's all that really matters to me. And they're free kills. Oh, that was nowhere near far enough. Hey, you want a bite? Want a bite? Want a bite? Come here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Bite the fish. Where you at? Where you at? He gave up. Hey. Never mind. What am I doing? I don't need these. These fish have no value to me. I want the scallops. They have up to 200 eyes. Yeah, why do you need that many, though? Honestly, I'm not sure many people need more than, like, maybe four. You gotta be kidding me right now. All right. I'll be back. It's getting hard to see them. Oh, they're not getting away this time. No, no, no. This time, they're done, Zo. Can I catch two at a time? No. Castlet, stop being fucking mean. Or I won't go into the green ooze. I swear I won't. Be mean again. And I'm not sending our rod into the depths of the lake. No, this actually looks like it might have been an easier way to do it. Just go to this angle. Yeah, I got it. But, yeah, really, I really... You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I really will punish everyone. Okay, idiot. Mm. It's funny. All right, chat. Wait. Where the heck is it? Where's the... Hello? Hello? It's quiet. Real quiet. Down at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, that fish is mine. This one right here. This one's mine. Stupid looking one. This one's mine. I'm gonna sell this thing for a million dollars. I 
cannot see. This one's mine. I don't know what this one is, but I'm gonna eat it. Wow, it's gonna take a long time to get him out of this water. I hope all these fish are worth a lot of money, because they are... They are very deep in the water. It's a lot of work to get him out of here. Oh, I gotta get that thing from the cave still. Come on. Come on. Almost there. A little bit more and this thing's as good as mine. A billion dollars. This little dude look, would look nice in an aquarium. Yeah, but what was it, my guy? How about you tell me what it was? And then we can go from there. An oru. Like discus, the oru is a, a cichlid found natively in the Amazon basin. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong, but does this look like the Amazonian region to you? Uh, is this Amaz- Yeah. Oh. Huh. Right? We need more money. Also, the fact that there was no, um, green ooze tonight actually fills me with a kind of dread you would not believe. Almost as if something is hiding from me. Like it doesn't want me to get it. Uh, I'm going to sleep, and when I wake up, I better see the ooze. Well, I mean, I, I better see it in the evening when uh, it becomes the evening. I'm gonna go to the cave and grab the thing from the cave. Maybe I get back into cooking. There's gotta be some, I don't know how to cook things, but there's gotta be some like, come on, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be some, uh, some stuff to cook in this video game. There's like, there's tons of recipes and they all say they make you luckier. You know? Cook those scallops up. I need four of an item to cook it. Or I need four things. So I could try the scallops. They don't sell for that much. But I want to make it out of four of them. Not mix match, I think. I can try it with these four. I got four right now from these. Let's try making four. If we look, dude, if four scallops comes out to one dubious fish, I will be completely. My mind will be freaked. Okay, I'll be mind freaked. I won't. But I won't believe it. Like something will be wrong. These are worth eighty dollars. I mustn't do this. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel slightly luckier. That's how I rationalize what just happened, is that I feel luckier. That won't happen again. I'm feeling lucky. That's okay. We can touch. We can we can catch these two, and then we'll make uh, some of the money back. Look, chat. We had to test. You know what? Fuck fishing. Says a chat member. Listen here, son. Just because I'm having some trouble fishing today doesn't mean you can talk shit about one of the greatest hobbies known to man. I push him in the water. <clears throat> Look at what you did. You made Poro sad. Poro! Drown him! <laughs> Grab him, Poro! Hold him under the water! <laughs> do it, Poro, do it. This is gonna be one of those streams where people that watch the VOD have no fucking idea who the fuck Poro is. Like, they are, they are genuinely, they just don't get this one. Like, this VOD is gonna be like a, like, inaccessible to some people. What the fuck is he talking about? I don't understand! 
I do not get it. <laughs> I don't even know who Poro is. I'm gonna catch all these fish. They're worth so much money. I'm like, this is the money zone. And they all, it's such a small area that like every fish you get here. You little, oh, ooh. That's not gonna fly twice. entire cave ecosystem destroyed. I've killed everyone in this cave ecosystem like five times, so it's already been destroyed. Like, it's not really being destroyed, because they come back every day. So I don't feel bad about this. I just gotta remember to catch that, grab that lure as well while I'm here. Which, but I don't think it's gonna be as good as this lure. I genuinely don't believe it. I would be baffled if it was. How the heck are you... That fish is the most powerful fish in the whole game. Come here. Hey. Eat this. Did he give up? The asshole gave up. All right. The problem is that at a certain point, some lures are actually worse than others. Because this one is like is not very good here because the, it rushes to the bottom so fast. But whatever. We got a new, uh, we got a new one. See what this is. Maybe it's another peeb. Moonfish. Depth 50, attraction 5. Yeah, it's just a worse version. It would be like a quick way to get uh to the it would be it would probably allow me to skip this one if I had wanted to and go straight to the maiden one. Because mine's 65. Mine's just a flat out better lure. I, I hope Poro stays sad, says a chatlet. All right, asshole. <laughs> you see, like, for the thing about free speech is that it doesn't, like, it applies to, like, uh, like, public shit, like, but this is, like, my private Twitch chat kind of deal, so, uh, get rid of that person for fucking ever. Anyone that says they want to keep Poro sad, you can just permanently ban them forever. I don't have to listen to that, and I don't have to allow it in my stream. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone, Poro haters. Now, unban them because I want them to know that while they shouldn't be saying stuff like that, I do, I do think that they can change. Perhaps one day, maybe they could become better. Spineless. Poro wouldn't want them banned. I don't think. I do, I do not think Poro would want them banned. We're gonna do deep sea fishing. I'm done with the, uh, I'm done with the pond. We're beyond that. Poro would want them drowned. True, dude. There's one thing I know about Poro, it's his bloodlust, his uns, his insatiable bloodlust. Drown them. I seek vengeance. So, uh, let's see here. In the deep waters, I see a giant fucking crack. How deep does my fishing line actually go? Can I reach, like, to the crack? No. It seems like I've cast a line at the perfect angle where nothing will ever notice me. Maybe that fish right there will. Hey, come here. Hey, buddy. Fuck. Leave it to me to cast at the one angle where no fish dare tread. I'm gonna go for that guy. See that guy right there? The one with the funny forehead? That one's mine. I can see him from here. That's mine. I'm going in. Gonna land right on top of him. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, there it is. He's a fast one. He's fast. I got him. Pull him in. 
He's not really putting up much of a. There he is. He's not. Yeah, he's not really putting up much of a fight. He's kind of tuckered out. This guy's probably not worth much money. That was sad. Wow, look at this dude's noggin. I told you it was a funny forehead, and you guys said it was rude, but this guy agrees with me. It was a funny forehead. That's a Napoleon Rass. The humphead Rass is often known as the Napoleon Rass due to its resemblance to the top hat of Bonaparte. Huh? <laughs> it's also, it is also pretty big. It's worth four hundred dollars. Chat, there is no green left. I don't know why. Something is wrong. Also, this was a really bad cast. The green knows your power. Well, I can't do much else until I've caught enough fish to buy, like, the super lines. So I'm not sure why it's scared of me, if that's the case. I'm not that powerful yet. I need, like, the super broad. Or, more specifically, I need the, the like, super lure more so. I think that's more important than the super rod. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hey, come here. Yeah, that's right. You come here and grab me. Really? Does it just lose interest the second it touches the ground? Because that's sad, dude. Does anyone want this? Anyone want all this? There we go. This thing can't be worth that much. Yeah, this one ain't worth anything, I'm betting. It's too small. Too, sh like, shrimpy. It's barely even able to put up a fight while I'm pulling it up. Even when it's, like, flailing, it's just not that strong. What is this? A little discus. I love it. I don't! How much money is it worth, though, kid? <clears throat> Ew! Ew! Twenty dollars! I don't want that. Maybe there's some weird fish hanging out here at night. Any weirdos? I haven't caught this yet. That or this is a guppy. Just a little guy. A little bastard, more like. <laughs> Stay out of my way. I'm trying to catch unique fish. At night. You. You will do. Yes. This one's gonna put up a fight. This one's hard. This one's gonna be rough. Easy. 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 Easy there. This one is gonna- this is might take a while. This one's cra- the barracudas are crazy. It is not giving me a second to pull it in. Come on. I'm like stalling it, but it's it's fighting me every step of the way. The battle lasted all night. But I got him. There's no fucking way I he might dude, he's like luring me into a false sense of security. Come on now. In the line! Nowhere left to run! Oh, Yes! Another Barracuda. These things are worth like $80. We're getting there. That's money. All right, Jet. We only need to get a couple more things. And then we'll be able to get the Omega Lore. And then we can find out what's down there. In the depths. 
of the lake. Them a crack. Any funny fish that are worth more than twenty dollars? What the fuck is that guy? What is that weirdo? You guys see that weirdo? Hang on. No, 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 not the swordfish. The one that looks like it's got a big bump on its head, like it got bumped. Not the swordfish. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. He looked like someone bonked him. We're gonna land right on top of him. Or close to him. See, it's that one right there, that pink one. Hey, hey, weirdo. Hey, weirdo, over here. Hey. He's like s just staring straight ahead, not looking at anything. It might be dead. It's not moving. And I'll catch you just because. Oh, never. Oh, nice. I'll get a tuna. Int build. <laughs> Dude, that one's int build. This tune is putting up more of a fight than half of the fish I've gotten down there lately. Okay. I can't believe how cheap the tuna are. That's kind of bullshit. Okay, so the actual angle I want to go on if I'm going to catch this thing is like here. Fucking perfect. This is going to land right on top of the fucking guy. If he's dead, we're going to know it. Because he can't. There's no way he resists the fish. Hey. What's up? What is... Is your brain... Is that your fucking brain? You freaky little int build? What the fuck is this thing? Do we eat that part? <laughs> I'm asking, I'm uh, just in case. Is that like a we eat it? Or is that like not something you eat? This better be worth a lot of money. And it better speak to me, like with psionics when it comes out of the water. It better like say like, please, sir. This is not yet my time. Like it better talk to me when, I, when it comes out of the water. Uh, or it's not good enough. This guy has a huge head. That's all you had to say? This dude's head is weird. $65! The bulbous head of the flower horn has inspired many unethical breeding practices for anatomical deformities in commercial fish. I want to make the fish smarter. Don't you see? Pugfish. The pug of fish, if you will. Shit. Get the hell out of here. Wait, I, cr I, I, I passed the camp. I wanted to sell my stuff because I think I'm getting close to having enough to get the good thing. And then we can go into the depths of the lake. Unethical fish breeding makes Poro sad. So, Tomato, what do you think of pugs? I'm glad you asked. God, I'm glad someone finally asked. Good question, chat member. 
now you've made Poro sad. Let's sell all this crap. We're getting close. Soon we will be able to buy the sunken maiden. One more big fish. One more, one last big catch, chat. And it's the sunken maiden. And then? The depths. Beneath the lake. That swordfish is gonna be mine. I swear it. Intercept trajectory, let's go. What's up, buddy? Want some fish? Oh, you little... Mmm. Mmm. Come here. Wander a bit, stray a bit further towards the bait. Look, this fish is no peep when it comes, like, this This lore I have is no peep compared to, uh, you know, with the attraction thing. It's just not. It doesn't have anywhere near the attraction potential of some of my prior bait, which is, it's obvious. It's very obvious. It doesn't have that peep level attraction, but I think we can still get there. I think that's now aligned better. Yes. This is going to catch him. I want... Okay, really? He's going to loop back around. They have like a preset loop, I swear to God. He's coming in. We're going in. This swordfish got to be worth at least 100. Come here. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I be honest, chat? I don't really think swordfish is very good. And I don't mean it tastes bad. I mean it tastes average. Like, I could... It just tastes like other fish that I could already eat. And like they, uh, they, they cost more money because it's like unique, you know? You've had some before? I've had it. I've had swordfish, I've had shark. Both of them, I wouldn't say are very uh, stunning. Uh, they're not really like, whoa, this is crazy good. It's more of like a all right, I ate it once. I can say I ate it. It wasn't so good that I would seek it out and pick it over, like, another fish, though. Once I've had it. How much does that sell for? 150. Not bad. Couple more of those and we got the thing. Couple more of those and we got what we came for. Hmm. It's looking like I might be one inch too short to get in the crack with my current rod, which is wigging me out. I need to catch one of those. The mana ray. I want to stay away from purple, though. All right, that looks... Whoa, 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 hang on. Oh, I can't reach that thing. Damn it. It's like eels and stuff to catch. All right, the mana ray's next. Have you ever eaten gunfish, though? Uh, no, I can't say I've ever had gunfish. Yet. What the hell is that fucking mana ray? Or moray, whatever the fuck this is. Oh, it looks so stupid. <laughs> Dude, really? Hey, you fuck off! You fuck the hell off! I want him, not you. How about you just stay away? Wait, what's that? The fuck is that thing? Hang on, change your plans. What the hell's that glowy thing? The heck is that? There's some kind of Shiny, glowy, weirdo thing right in the right in the plants there. Surely I'm not crazy. 
Why, it would be right here. You can almost see it through the leaves. The orb. It should be right here. The fuck is that thing? Why does that thing look evil? Is that evil? Is that some kind of evil spirit cube? The cube. Morning stone, depth 100. Maybe we buy the better rod. But the attraction's very low. The green's back. The crack is glowing. Strange. Something in the crack is... Sure putting up quite a show right now. God knows what the hell's down there. Can't quite seem to reach from this angle. What's up? You're worth money, yeah? The attraction's still fine. Like, this thing saw me no problem. Grab something so we make some money out of this. Oh, yeah. There it is. I guess we'll buy the good rod instead. Even though it's going to take a little bit longer to get. If we've got a hundred depth, we should be good to reach the bottom. I hope. That's all. That's like almost double our current depth limit. How, how deep can the bottom of Lake Ophelia be, really? Like, uh, how deep could it really be? Like, it's probably not even that deep. It can't be that deep of a lake. At least a couple feet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously on that. Hey, at least we haven't seen these strange yellow eyes. Or anything like that. Alright, I want to sell, uh... Swordfish and the... There we go. So what can I buy? We have the option of industrial hip hyper rod. For another... I need to make another thousand dollars for that. Or the sunken maiden, another two hundred or so. Uh, regardless, we can reach the bottom of whatever... Like, we need the rod to go any deeper. Because I don't think we can actually reach the crack. Like, I truly don't believe we can reach the crack. I think we're, like, an inch too short. Which is sad. But, uh, if that's the case, there's not really much we can do. I think that side of the lake is technically closer. So I can loop around. But I think... I need the rod. Means I might need to take a nap after this. First, I'm gonna loop around the, the lake because I want to see if maybe I can reach it. No, no, I don't need the I don't need it to be green for me to test that. Darora, thanks for the fifteen hundred bits. If I recall, this just gives you cash, so take my money. Yeah, it does. Wait, what was that? Oh. Well, that's fun. That's uh, some um, actual little fireflies. Thought I saw something. But it was really just fireflies. Nothing, uh, nothing weird. I hate fireflies. Just as much as I hate anglerfishes. I don't like it. I don't like anything that can create light but me, man. You know what I mean? Bro, how? Yeah, easily. I've got a lot of hate in my heart, all right? I got a lot of anger and rage in my heart, deep in my soul. Okay, so easily. It's not hard at all, actually. Big boy. Ugh. Are you...
What the heck in heck is this guy? I saw. Oh, yeah, you will be mine. You will be mine. Hey. I love his face. I love his face. Come here, little guy. Right here. I'm going to sell you on the free market, Sunfish. All right, if I had to make a fish tier list, I am telling you right now, Sunfish would be so high up that list. Iconic. Iconic. Like, immediate S rank. Someone called it a freaky little thing. Why would you say that about him? Weird. Whoa, what's up with this guy? How does he not recognize what a sunfish is, dude? Sunfish! Worth $200! The stupidest thing I've ever seen! Fuck you! What?! No! -uh! Go to hell! Stupidest thing I've ever seen! Dude, I have to read chat every day. I assure you, it ain't the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's fucking barely even registering on the dumb meter. Okay? Be take it easy on Sunfish. Wow, dude, Poro sad. Wow, dude. Yeah, I can't reach that crack. Hey, hey, green guy. Hey, green guy. You want a bite? A bite this thing? Weird looking fucking thing? Yeah, that's right. This poor guy can barely put up a struggle. I can keep pulling him in. Even when he's resisting, I can pull him in. They like weighs nothing. Gotcha. Another little discus. So I guess you could cook stuff which might make it better for uh, like you to catch certain things. But like, I don't know. It feels like a waste of my money. I'm gonna catch more of the uh, scallops because those are a bunch of money and they're always in the same spot. These guys are freebies. Is this seriously that short? Wow, what the, how the fuck did that happen? Hey, bite? No. Maybe? Bite? No. Does all the bait work with all the fish? There is no bait, so yes. It does all work. Maybe it'd be easier to do this from the top of the cliff. Well, it doesn't seem like it. it doesn't, I don't think I have an angle on it. Look, we just gotta get enough money for the super rod, and then we can find out what's actually under Lake Ophelia. Another scallop. It's worth $88 or something a pop, so uh, extremely worth it for me. Still some fish I haven't caught. Like, there's like eels or something over there. Why did the music get creepy? It's been getting like this all day. You just haven't noticed. You've been ignoring it. You've been trying to ignore it this whole time. They even have this spooky fucking lure. Did I fuck it up? Reach it. I got it. We got there. How much how much am I going to have to catch to finish the fight? Another scallop. How much do I have right now? 
I can't you can't check your inventory very easily. Where is music? It stopped the second you scared it. I don't blame it. You were all making a lot of really fucking BS complaints about it, so I don't blame it for leaving. After all that, I would too. Any weirdos? No. No weirdos, not for miles. To my knowledge, you aren't really worth much of anything, are you? you sad little thing. Maybe twenty dollars. Did you have to move faster? Like I actually can't find a situation where there we go. Bite me. Got you right where I want you. Every little bit counts. Every single little bit of fish right now counts when you're trying to get the most expensive fishing rod ever known to man in order to enter the crack at the bottom of Lake Ophelia and discover the secret. The horrible mystery. Of the lake. There it is. Do I maybe I go to the piranha cave? That usually is where I get the most of my money. Has tomato caught one of those weirdos? I've been catching a lot of weirdos in the pond. Like I, that much I can tell you. I can assure you, I've caught at least like eight to nine different weirdo fish that I wouldn't really classify as fish. I would describe them closer to just weird things. Do I check behind this? No, you can't even check behind it. Like the sunfish? The sunfish is not weird. You guys are toxic. Fuck, we need to make another like thousand dollars to buy the industrial. No, no, we don't. Okay. We have to make a little bit more. All right, I'm going to go around to the cave and catch everything in the cave, and that might actually do it. And then we'll have the Hyper Omega Super Rod. We have to make another 500 or so dollars. That's not bad. That's like a couple more good catches. And then we'll be done. Is this a horror game? I do not know. Why you keep trying? Does it... Does it even matter anymore? What would the answer change? I'm going back to the cave. What do I do with these, like, butterflies, though? I don't trust them. It's a horrifyingly boring game. I'm having fun with it, dude. Shut your dang mouth before I shut it for you. Shut your mouth. Everyone shame that guy. Everyone shame that guy. Where, where do you get off? I'm going back into the cave. One last ride. Hang on, if I'm gonna do the cave, I might as well switch my lure to whichever is the most attractive. Which in this case is the beast. Just speeds up the process a little- You seriously? Speeds up the process a little bit. Because everything wants to bite it immediately. Fifty dollars. The beast! Yeah, way faster with higher attraction. So that's a hundred. Right there already. It's a hundred dollars on the spot. Now you. That was a bit of an overkill there. I kind of... Whoa. The whole game went black for a second. See, Chad, listen. This ain't spooky music. This ain't a spooky game. It's a relaxing game. Does anyone want this? Does anyone want some of this? There we go. How the fuck does that keep happening? Why are the fish in this place somehow able to snap the line the second I pull them in? 
It's wild. I got him. All right, so 150. So be 200 or so. All right, 200. Stop is that guy. Moving fast. 250. All right, that's ha we're halfway done. 300. As soon as I catch this idiot. And then, chat, it's the depths. Where did I catch those other scallops? I remember there being scallops on the ground. Maybe it was in the middle of the uh, place. But maybe I could catch them again. That would that would meet up, get us in the middle. That would, that would finish it. It wasn't there. I got all those ones. I think it was in the middle. I think it was at like the very bottom. But I don't remember the angle because I can't reach everything with this rod. Mm, perhaps right here. Try like in like here. What the hell is this thing? Might see something worth our time down here. Maybe. Wait a minute, eel. We haven't caught eel yet. But we're not gonna catch. <gasps> hey! 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 Hey, eel! 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 Come here! He doesn't care. Come on! He's not gonna take it. This thing, no one likes this guy. Like, that's the problem with the current lure I have, is that everyone hates him. So I can't, like, catch things easily. It's making it a lot harder for me to catch good fish right now. No one likes him. Like, genuinely, everyone hates him. It makes me feel like I need to get the, the next, the last lure after all, because I don't think I'll be able to catch anything in the abyss, ever, using this thing. I think it's just, oh, there's the scallops. Is that five of them? Yeah, that'll do. Actually, it'll perfectly lined up for it, too. That's money on the table. You get all these? Bada bing, bada bam. Finally be somewhere. Come on. Got it. This one's gonna be fast, too. Yeah, we'll grab all these things. And we already know we can't cook anything out of it. So we won't even get distracted by that part. They should be right there beneath us. I'm gonna miss them. Yep, I'm gonna miss them by about a foot. Wait, maybe not. No, I'm gonna miss them by about five inches. Yep. Yep. There it is, baby. <laughs> there, it, there it is. There it is. It's really fucking hard to see anything beneath you in this game. There it is. We wanted here. Now we got it. Okay, all the way back up. Gotta do a full reset. This should be perfect, though. This right here is a perfect drop. Got him. All right. We do that another couple times. Easy peasy. Make all the money. Buy the super rod. Go into the crack. Find the horrible monster down there. Or, like, I don't know, pollution? Maybe that's the lesson in this game. It's all pollution. It was all pollution the whole time. What if that's the secret? It's, it actually is just like a bunch of garbage. No, no, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't. How the fuck did I just miss these that bad? Wait, I might be able to get this one. We got it. Those last two are going to be tricky, though. All right. Last two, we aim like here, and I think we got it. Oh yeah, we're gonna miss it. I don't know if I'm gonna get if I get if I don't get any on this one. I'm just gonna sell everything and buy the rod. I think I'll get this one. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got this thing. 
Oh, yeah. We got it. All right, Chet. We're going to go buy the super rod. And we're going into the hole. We're going to go into the hole. We're going to find out what's down there. We're going to find out what's down there. We're going to ask questions no one wants to ask. And then if I don't like the answer, I'm going to go in my tent and grab the 500 gallons of bleach I've been keeping in my tent this whole time. I'm going to pour them all into the lake. If I don't like the answer, I'm going to get rid of the answer. I'm going to get rid of all of it. Wouldn't it be better to buy a boat? Who's going to deliver the fucking boat? What kind of question is that? These are solid walls. You can't penetrate these trees. We don't even know how we got here. We can't get a boat here. It just respawns after you sleep, though, but I'll never sleep again after this because I don't need to sleep. I sleep only to allow it to respawn. So once I've killed it, none of it matters anymore. I'd like to sell... The anglerfish. It was a good thing I caught that last one. Because I actually needed it. The industrial hyper rod. This is the most powerful rod in the whole game. Oh yeah. Double the distance of the last rod. Why, with this rod, you could... <laughs> Look at how far that thing just reached in one go. I don't know if I want to go in the hole before it's nighttime, though. That feels like a mistake. Like, it, it feels, like, thematically correct that I go in during the evening. Like, I, I, I want to go in... Wait a minute. Hold up. There's something we can do. Maybe it's time we find out where that waterfall really goes. Seems like it takes away the reticle to stop you. Which is too bad because my reticle, I can reach very far with this thing. Look at how far I reach. Look at that. Look at that. Why it takes a thousand years for me to even get my rot my line back. But there's gotta be a reason for this cliff. You know what I mean? Like there's no real purpose behind this thing. Can I get line? Can you Hey, you want a bite? <laughs> hey, bro. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone want a bite? Tuna does. Tuna wants one. It's actually faster for me to just let a fish break the line than it is for me to actually pull this in properly. I got a tuna. Yeah, so I'm not seeing anything on this cliff that I can throw my line at. Might be able to get behind the, the fish, the uh, tree line right here. No, there is not, there is in fact nothing behind the tree line. This is, uh, this, this, this rod's a little strong. Dude, stop. Dude, come back. Dude, come back. Dude, come back. Dude, come back. Got it. So it doesn't look, yeah, it doesn't look like I can get up to the top. This is all I can, I can only target right here. And then I have to pull it back in. Too bad, chat. Just too, just a real shame that, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's time to get in position, because when the sun sets, we're going fishing. 
in the depths. We're going fishing in the real depths. The crack. We're gonna do some side. We're gonna do some fishing along the sides, though. I'm not going in the crack in one go. But we will catch some other stuff in the deep area now before it's time. Just to warm up with the new rod. You know how it is. The hell's that thing? Look at that funny looking. Is that another swordfish? That's a swordfish. We can get this swordfish. Right here. This one right here is all mine. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Free money. Just don't take us any closer to that crack. I don't want anything to do with that. I don't want anything near that crack. Bad omens from that crack. Stop scampering towards the crack, everyone. Don't go near it until it's nighttime. It's not safe. There's no light down there. Or for some reason, there's an uncanny green glow at night, which makes it safer to traverse. Whoa, 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 dude, it's over. Let it go. It's been caught by me. Pointy. Well, Chad, sun's setting. I do not believe I'm going to be anywhere near the amount of money I need to catch the, to get the super lure, but I'm not sure I'm going to need it. We'll have to see once I'm in the crack. I feel like I don't. I hope I don't. Well, old man. Yeah, we're ways away. <laughs> Sunken Maiden's $1,500. We're not getting that. Uh, probably ever. Unless the game makes me. There's gotta be a mystery underneath Lake Ophelia. Doesn't make any sense that there wouldn't be. Tonight, when the sun sets and the moon rises and the green glow appears once again, uh, oh, is that a flounder? Wait. Come here. Come here, skag zag fish. Come here. Looks like the sun's finally setting. Let's find a good place to line up. That was accidental. God damn it, it is impossible to pull this thing back in. Cool it, dude. Like, fucking stop. Almost there. Almost got it. There it is. Come on now. Ooze the green glow. Show yourself. Just as you have every night before, except for Wednesdays. The, d the green glow doesn't appear on Wednesday evenings. Uh, we confirmed this. For some reason it was gone that night. But then it came back Thursday. Come on. It has D&D. &D. You guys can't go like, haha, D&D &D bit. He's doing D&D &D bit. But then you're the one that made the joke. Like, you fucking, you genuinely can't do that. Like, that is bizarre. He's doing it again, but I didn't make the joke. It's time. I don't know if the glow is coming. Chat. We're going to throw our line off. Right here. The glow's not coming. We're not gonna wake. Well, wait. It's a Wednesday. It must be. It's fine. We'll have to find the angle ourselves without it. I can't see it. The crack.
Right now I'm right there. Uh, actually it looks like we did it perfect. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this goddamn shit. Okay. Ah, that's just how, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Sorry, dude. Could have been an inch off on that one. Gotta try again. Whatever. I'll get it perfect this time. Watch. Look, I would have been able to do it if the green glow was there. But it wasn't. A little bit that way. I'm just going to throw it all the way to the entire opposite side of the lake so I can't miss it. There we go. Now I can't miss it. Though I do not know where the glow is. And before he misses it, it's not possible. I've done, I would say this time, I have done a perfect descent. Now the question is, What's the mystery beneath Lake Ophelia? What the heck and heck's going on down there that's so mysterious that there's a giant crack to keep us from finding it? What the hell is that? Chad, this is my maximum depth. <laughs> I gotta, we gotta pull it back up, baby. I gotta get the special lure. We're gonna have to, uh, gonna have to get the special lore. We can't really, can't see what's under Lake Ophelia today, unfortunately. Gonna have to pull up the, gonna have to catch some extra fish for the special lore. Come on, sorry chat, what, what can I tell you? Um, we need, we need all the upgrades. We're gonna have to catch them all. And take a nap. Dang, dude, gotta take a nap. <laughs> But Paro was so excited. Paro can go to hell. All right, it ain't about him. It's about everyone. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. Shut up. I'm tired of you. If you want to go home, nearest gas station's 40 miles through the woods. Go on now. Forty miles through the woods, straight line that way you can't miss it. Unless of course one of the bears gets you. Unless of course one of the wild animals would devour you. Forty miles. There's a storm coming. That's right, chat. Good thinking. There's a storm coming, chat. You're gonna have to be. You're gonna have to march your way through a goddamn. Yeah, you're not gonna last ten seconds out there, chat. You know, you're not gonna last ten seconds out there. There's a storm coming, chat. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this shit. Can I just get like a harpoon gun for this game? Let's keep doing all these lines like short. But like the long version is way too long. And like certainly overkill. It's just getting these scallops is a lot of work. But we need $1,500. Is there about 100 a pop? 85 or something? We can probably, if we get like one good catch, like you know, the, the crazy fish, the funny one. Yeah, you know, the funny fish. If we catch the funny fish and like one or two others, we can uh we can get the lure. And then we'll be able to perhaps by this evening do the thing. Cause I wanna I wouldn't mind having it glowing when I do it as well. I think that's it. I am gonna go back to the uh lake. Or a little pond. I think the pond is honestly the best money in the game because it's so fast. 
I think Peeb should see the bottom of the lake at least once. Peeb is physically unable to go to the bottom of the lake because he's the depth problem. He is the problem. All right? He can't do it. It's not that I don't want to bring Peeb. It's that he physically is unable to do it. No matter how hard he tries, he'll never be able to do it. Okay? It's a skill issue. He has a skill issue. He, he can't. He genuinely can't. You come here. Come here. Attraction seven fish, by the way. Got him. Hang on, I gotta switch to the beast. This is getting a little weird again. How the fuck did that happen? Let's pull it up then. This fucking line is so strong. Hey, you want this? Yeah. Yeah. There it is. We can get there, Chad. We are going to get this fucking thing. We will. We will obtain whatever is at the bottom of Lake Ophelia. We're running out of food, chat. We're running out of food, we're running out of water. You can't drink any of the water in Lake Ophelia, and you can't eat any of the fish in Lake Ophelia. They're poisonous. They're full of some kind of strange chemical that's poisonous to humans. We're running out of rations. Won't be long till I start having to make dubious meals out of people. Won't be long. The most dubious of all. Nothing ever spawns in the little ponds. Eating people makes me feel slightly luckier. Yeah, I mean, I just don't know why I couldn't ever make a real recipe for the game. It's kind of fucked up. You would have thought that, like, I would have been able to get at least one, right? Like, one fish? You might have been able to catch, like, one? Like, that I could actually cook into something, but it just never happened? Well, time to go deep fishing. I don't think I need anything other than the classic fish to do the actual stuff I want to catch down here. Mentric is actually seeing the thing I want to catch. There's scallops right in front of me. Which are definitely worth getting. The perfect scallop line. We're gonna get the scallops. Is that him? Wait, is that the... Is that the prodigal son? The sunfish? Only worth $200, so really not worth the effort to catch. I'm looking for forehead boy. Stupid fish. All right, I'm not, dude, honestly, I think you might have been thinking I've been playing around. It's not fucking funny. Like, so knock it off. Like, it's not a joke. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. If I was laughing, it'd be funny, but I'm not. So it's not funny. Stupid Dumbo fish. Any mods fucking uh, uh, enable that fucking message that person said in the auto mod thing, and you're done. All right. Let it roll right on by. I want a mod to add it to the block list. I know Katie just fucking like keeps doing this bullshit. Someone else back me up and keep it blocked. Patrick! I saw you! Yeah. Yeah. Father dead? Really? Really? Good news, chat. Fucking shit fuck has just been enabled. 
You can now finally say fucking shit fuck whenever you want in my chat. Dude, this is unbelievable. Whatever. <laughs> we're never getting to the bottom of Lake Ophelia. Where am I? I looked away from my computer. Dude, just imagine walking around at like during the day. You're walking, having a good time, like talking to a family friend or like a friend. Like, gra like talking to grandma, going on a walk with grandma. You're walking around, having a good time. You crest a hill, and you just see, and someone just throws a fucking line at you and fucking grabs grandma by the hair. Pulled away by the line. They just get ripped around it. Think about that. What do you do? <laughs> how do you, how do you, like, this is a, this is a mile-long fishing line this kid has. No, oh, nice catch! The green's there, taunting me. Can't do anything about it tonight, on account of the fact that I genuinely, physically don't have the lure for it. But, uh, maybe. That's a D&D &D character, write it down. Chat, I already made that D&D &D character. He exists. I play him on Sundays. <laughs> like, I've already made that guy. Like, that character exists. I made him. That's the closest you're ever going to get in mechanics. I, God, it's going to be tough to get enough money to do this properly. But I can't, I can't go in the hole. I absolutely doesn't matter right now. I just have to catch enough stuff. I haven't caught one of those yet. One of those silly boys? One of those guys? There's a couple things I haven't caught yet. I don't think I've caught these either, the eels. But uh, the attraction on these guys is a little low. I don't think they'd come after me. Maybe? Maybe right now? Maybe right now. Nope. That's just like the thing. I somehow managed to perfectly thread the needle every time I fucking throw my line out between two fish, like every single time. Like the AI's not that good. So like, they, I, I'm like at the perfect edge of their aggro. It's bullshit. Just salt we have. I think we're still ways away, but we might be close. Damn, I missed the huge red eel. I haven't caught an eel. Why is it glowing? Because there's a mystery underneath Lake Ophelia. Read the goddamn title. But we can't get down there because we don't have the right lure, even though we have everything perfectly that we need. You have to buy, like, this guy's overpriced fucking thing. In order to buy it, we need, like, a nut. We need to double the money we have right now. So back out we go. We sleep. We're, we gotta fish for scallops. We're scallop fishermen. We, we're getting padded. I'm having fun with it, but we've been... We've officially reached uh, the padded part, where we have to pad. We're being padded until we have enough money to get down there. But if we catch everything that we have, that we know in our, like, loop, by the time we get back from the cave, we'll have enough. Because everything in the cave is worth about 50. We're about to get three or four scallops from this spot. We catch every scallop we see. Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. Why, that's that's money in the bank. Cheat engine time. That would speed up this part. Because really, the time-consuming part right now is getting the line in. But I don't really like turning on cheat engine just willy-nilly anymore. Not after what it did last time I turned it on to do something quickly in a video game. And it blue-screened my computer, and I was like, whoa. 
Can't believe this happened to me. I didn't deserve. Oh, you got it. I'm gonna blue. I'm gonna fucking turn it on. I fucked that throw up one more time. I'm turning it on. Oh my god. That's what cheaters get. Nah, typically cheaters uh, actually make money. Usually, like, get away with it. Actually, most of the time. It's right. You see, the thing is that a good cheater doesn't get caught. And there's many of those in the world. Uh, there's many people like that out in the world that are just very uh, good at it, and therefore we're never caught. Like, you gotta be a fucking buffoon to, like, get caught if you're gonna cheat, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta be a fucking grade-A buffoon to not only cheat at something, but then be actually observed and caught doing it. You know? Couldn't be me. Honestly, in hindsight, I think I may have cheated on every single test I ever... Almost every test I ever took in high school that wasn't AP English. I was never caught. <laughs> Ever. Because it's a skill. Someone got mad at me for saying that. Like, I mentioned that offhand and, like, a parent was like, My child watches your stream and they, they said that you said they should cheat. And I was like, fuck yeah, I did. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You're never gonna carry 90% of that education you get out of school ever with you anywhere. But the thing you will carry is your ability to make your life easier. The mortal life, the limited time you have on Earth, you can make slightly easier for yourself and therefore more tolerable. And then I banned the child. Bite this fish. Come here. No, come here. Then I destroyed them. How the fuck? Dude, that fish is cracked. I don't know what the fuck is up with this guy. He always breaks the line. But this, the audio cue is so, like, quiet on him. And now he doesn't do anything. You done? Okay. Trust me, chat, once we get all these, a billion dollars. Mom, you got me banned! <laughs> Why? Why, dude? Why? Cheater, doctor, or dentist, though. Look, chat, I think we can all agree that at any point you can really reach in any direction of the statement I've made and be like, you wouldn't want a cert to find out your surgeon cheated in medical school. And like, Sarah, yeah, you're right, but that doesn't exactly apply to everything. That's kind of a bunch of bullshit to make that argument. <laughs> you wouldn't want to have your surgeon cheat in medical school, right, streamer? Checkmate! <laughs> gotcha! You would download a car! <laughs> you wouldn't download a surgeon, would you? You wouldn't steal a game. I've never properly pirated something. Uh, but I have downloaded games that are no longer properly available many times. If a game isn't properly available on a storefront to purchase, in my opinion, it is 100% free game <laughs> at that point. Fuck anyone that says otherwise, they are delusional. Uh, if it isn't on a storefront, it should be available immediately. How else would other people play God Hand now? Like, that game's a fucking masterpiece and you can't even fucking play it. If it's abandoned, it's abandoned. It's time. What's God Hand? <laughs> Why are you saying things like that, freak? Hmm, 
I don't think I have enough money yet. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and guess. The answer is I don't have enough yet. But those four scallops right there might push me over the edge. Same with this swordfish. Or this eel. I haven't caught one of these yet. This might be the time. Hey, come here. Bite this. Bite this. Bite the... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to catch this thing. This might be worth a lot of money. Easy now. E easy. Easy now. There it is. Easy. He hates this. He hates this part. He hates it. Is this a moray eel? Neat. Yeah, it's stupid. What are you? What are you stupid, Tom? Of course, it's a fucking eel. Dumb. That's a moray. That's fucking funny. Is that an Animal Crossing joke? Because uh, I don't play games for little baby uh, idiots, uh, is the thing. So um, I guess that means you're uh, not old enough to be in the stream, huh? Because that's a game for little baby idiots. Like, <laughs> It's a game for children, right? It's a game for like little idiot kids. <laughs> Dude, I had like 100 hours in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I have like a hundred hours in it. <laughs> so that's that's a game for fucking idiot, stupid kids, huh? <laughs> Whoa. The hole, chat. The hole. You know who's not getting scallops on this throw? Me. Fucking hell. We go. This time for sure. We're so close to finishing this. We're so close. And I want to do it while it's glowing. While the hole is glowing. Maybe if you put 500 hours into Animal Crossing, you would. Listen, all right. No amount of time in Animal Crossing makes you better at video games. I, I I would not be able to do any better at this if I had played more Animal Crossing. I'm going to be clear with you on that. <laughs> Animal Crossing is not a game. It is a interactive screensaver. Now, even I, person that likes Animal Crossing, would never say anything more than that. He is so brave for saying that. I know. I can't reach it. I might try to sell this stuff now. I might have enough. I hope. I might. There's a chance. I don't know how much the eel goes for, so there's a chance. Let's go back to town. And by town, I mean my small, pathetic camp. Like Cookie Clicker? Open your island now. I would never allow you onto Fart's Angry Face. In a million billion years, I wouldn't let any of you on that island. You're not tough enough. You have to take a heaving dump to even get past the dock. I make anyone who comes into my island sit on a fucking toilet and take a shit before they're even allowed on. Okay. As long as you have a curtain? No. I make all the villagers observe it. They all observe it. They all have to watch. Antonio just sits there quietly pumping the whole time, staring at you like you're a psycho. Without saying a word. Hey. I've got fish. We got it, baby. Baby, we got it. It's time. It's been a pleasure, fish man. Depth of 700? Uh. Okay. 
That's a little deep. But, uh... Yeah, now I can, um... Straight for the crack, baby. Well, Chad, we're going into the hole now. Goodbye, sunfish. My beloved. Goodbye. Swordfish. Wait, this swordfish might actually try to stop me. No, he's good. We're going into the hole. What in the hell? You all sure about this one? Where am I? What is this? You know, up up at the top, my character just thinks he's fishing still. He has no idea what's happening down here. He may never know what's happening down here. This is for, this is only for the, uh, for the lore to see. It's a 5G tower. Whoa, whoa! Huh? What just happened? Kid? Kid, what's, uh... What's going on? What is that? Is that brains? What is that? I think we should cut the line. Uh, I can't. Oh, when I right click, it looks like I'm li it looks like I'm pulling a line. Uh, this is why you don't go to the bottom of Lake Ophelia. Is all I'm gonna say. Don't, don't go to the bottom of Lake Ophelia, chat. Just don't. Don't go to the bottom of Lake Ophelia. Poro, I leave all my riches to you, Poro. Goodbye. Goodbye, Poro. I leave it all to you. And Peeb. I leave some to Peeb as well. I leave half of it to Peeb. No. Uh, what? What's happening? Is the thing. I'm kind of wondering. What's going on? Am I getting cursed? Whoa. If you look closely through the static, you can see Lake Ophelia. Chat right there. Uh, no, you don't get to roll credits. I didn't even get to, I just barely even went to the, you tell me I played five, you tell me I put four hours in this game and you uh ma made a weird like looking teeth thing and maybe pull a line into it and it ended. Bye? Bye. He says bye. They say bye to me. Bye. Achievement says bye too. I am. Let me formulate this in the nicest way I can. That I've played a lot of I've played a lot of horror games with slow builds up buildups. I've never played one that had a slow buildup for the entire game, and then also had a bad ending. Like I've never done that before. I've never had a slow buildup to nothing. That then ended. Is the thing. Uh, mm, 
I mean, I had fun streaming. <laughs> I had fun streaming today. I didn't have the, I mean, the game. Did we miss something? I don't know. <laughs> what mysteries? There was one mystery and it was the mystery of the missing ending. It was the mystery, it's the mystery of the missing content of the game. That's the mystery. What about the cooking? Bro. All, there was a lamppost, a hole, and a, uh, like a, a, a tower. It was $5. This game's $5. So, like, I will give it credit in that it is not four, it's not a $20, $10 game. It's $5. However, um, I think the ending could have been an ending and not like uh, like a sort of experimental weird thing. They could have definitely done something weird with like the lore going 700 feet down, but it, well 700 like depth down, but instead it just smash cut to a movie. It loading screened you and then smash cuts you to a movie. I don't think that's good, you know? And they could have done, I think they were doing something. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. We're gonna go super deep into this hole and find something fucked up at the bottom of Lake Ophelia. But instead it like took us to a movie. And then says bye to me. Like that's the problem is that they were, they had a cool setup at the very end where I was like, okay, they've been teasing this hole that has this creepy green glow. Like obviously there's gonna be something they're gonna like throw all the horror at you at the very end. Like maybe change the setting when you pull it back up. Like I was expecting we'd catch something fucking super weird, like body horror, freaky shit down there, pull it all the way out and like then the setting would change or something and get like really weird. But like, it just, it was like we played a, it was like we played the like whole start of a horror game, but then nothing scary happened. Like you might as well have just made a fishing game and never had a scary part. Cause the ending was not, it was nonsense is my problem. This is like a game that I feel like in a year, I'm going to hear that it had like an update similar to like no one lives under the lighthouse or like the ending was completely removed and swapped. Cause I think there's about a hundred better executions of this ending is the problem. And looking I like, cause I didn't obviously, when it comes to horror games, I don't always look at reviews of them in real time. Like before I stream it, like aside from like, oh, it says it's positive. Um, looking at most of the reviews of it, a lot of people are like, hey, yeah, it was like fun, but the ending was confusing and doesn't make any sense and didn't feel necessary at all. I was hoping that it would be like, hey, you get down into the part beneath Lake Ophelia and there's like another like subspecies of fish down here where everything's really fucked up and weird. Like you can do something with that. You know, like they could have done so much, even with like not extending the game length. Just do the thing I explained the first time of like finding like it goes super low, like far down and you can treat it almost like a movie and like show this really fucked up depth beneath the place for a while as we slowly descend like a submarine down into the depths. But they didn't do that. They didn't do anything. They just had a horribly like just bad ending. Total bungle at the very end. And that's coming off of Kona, which I also thought had a underwhelming ending. But compared to this, Kona might as well have been a fucking like Oscar nominee. Brother. Too bad too, cause I've always found it's not very hard to make, look, here's the thing. Most people when they play, uh, horror indie games and like weird stuff like this are expecting an, a bad to average ending and they'll let almost anything slide 
right? Like, you can make some weird fucking shit in your video games and people will be like, this is good shit. Like, no one lives under the lighthouse. Barely makes any sense to this day. And I liked it. The problem is, you can just make up any fucking bullshit you want and people will eat it up when it comes to, like, these kinds of horror games. So the fact that you, that there's one that was made that was so, like, wildly bad that it doesn't even pass that threshold is, like, actually, like, fucking crazy to me. You know? If we should hold any part of the industry to high creativity standards, it's indie devs. Look, like, I don't want to be like, this game sucked! But, like, it, it genuinely just felt like such a missed opportunity to bungle it so bad at the end. Like, that was a, that was one of the worst endings to a game i played in a long time. Not for fucking three hours of time put into it. Like, that was re that, that was really bad. Like... It was just a wasted potential, the game. And I feel bad because I know that like devs and indie devs and stuff do see my streams and like I don't want to be like taking swings at the devs here, but like they must have known that this was going to be a weird ending that most people would bounce off of and be like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, there's about a hundred better ways you could have done that. So like maybe one day they'll come back to it or like clean it up a little bit at the very least get rid of the loading screen get rid of the loading screen and then maybe it would be a little bit better but the fact that it puts in a loading screen that immediately takes you out of the horror and then gives you that on top of it if you enjoyed the game until the ending that means it was a good game Wrong. Super wrong. In a game as short as this, three hours, sometimes the ending is the whole reason you're playing it. So when you play an entire game and feel like you're building up to something and that's the meaning behind the game is the build-up, especially when you know it's meant to be a horror game with a last-minute curveball, which a lot of people knew buying this game, when that curveball is bad, the game, as a result, loses points. Understand? Like that, that, that at immediately costs it points. I guess the stop motion was good. I mean, it wasn't enough to. But you still had a good time until the last few minutes. But I literally just explained why that's irrelevant. And it doesn't mean there it's not invalid for me to say a game is bad because the ending was bad enough to take me out of enjoying it like i had to look at the game as its full product as what it is and what it is is three hours of what feels like wasted time because the ending is so baffling and that's coming from a guy who plays a lot of fucking pretentious horror games i play a lot of them so when one doesn't when, when one throws me off, when I play some weird fucking shit, you know, that's noticeable. But yeah, who knows, maybe they'll fix it up. And if they do, good shit, because I definitely think it needs it. But uh, without it, if you just want to play a fishing game like this, uh, you could definitely just go play Cat Goes Fishing. <laughs> It's the same game as Cat Goes Fishing, except Cat Goes Fishing doesn't include, like, a weird movie at the end for no reason. It is Cat Goes Fishing until the very end. Except Cat Goes Fishing is like a masterpiece. Okay? <laughs> I tell you, Cat Goes Fishing's a good game any day of the goddamn week. That game slaps. But anyways, I will be back on Thursday. I'm taking tomorrow off. 
Uh, unless, of course, you're trying to catch the uh, world exclusive uh, sail, uh, sail wind stream that's happening at 4 p.m., which is, I'm go you know I'm gonna be there for the sail wind stream on my alternate channel, Garlic Laming. So get on out there, head on over to Garlic Laming, and get yourself a ticket to the show. It's sub only. And if it doesn't say it's a partnered account, that's because you're looking in the wrong spot. So just keep looking until you find it. I do not own a link to the channel, so I can't send it. But get out there and find it. For everyone else that doesn't want to watch that, I'm streaming on Thursday at 3.30 p.m. It's EST. Uh, we're doing Zomboid with uh, Sam. He set up a server. So we're doing Zomboid. So that'll be fun with a, with, with a gang of people. Hell yeah. Yeah, I will be back. Yeah, I actually, I held off scheduling Zomboid personally because there were bugs when the uh, patch first came out. I know a lot of people like asking about Zomboid. We're only doing it because Sam scheduled it instead because I was, I was personally going to wait a little bit longer, but I trust Sam. So if he thinks it's good to go and he tests it and it's looking good, then I'll take his word for it. I have no idea who I'm playing with, but I think Dave and Gmart were both interested. So I think that might be the group. But yeah, I will uh, I will see you then on Thursday, 3.30 p.m. at GST. It's been a pleasure, chat. It really has. But oh my God, I gotta go. Goodbye. 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 Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you guys over to Rob Has. I haven't raided someone in a while and Rob Has regularly raids me. So I'll send you over to him so that you have somewhere to go. It's been a long time. So, send you over to Robbez. Go say hey to him. He's playing Tarkov, a game one day I'd like to stream against my better judgment. Whenever Streets comes out, haha, <laughs> whenever that happens, count on it. You can write that down. You can schedule that. I'll see you on Thursday. So, never. Yeah, never. <laughs> what I said, what I meant to say is, I'm never streaming and there is no sale in stream tomorrow. Get out! Get the fuck out! Get out!